Hey everybody, welcome to the show. You are listening to the Greenlight Weekend Podcast, and if you've listened recently, you know that the Greenlight Weekend Podcast is sponsored by Dead Room Comedy. Dead Room Comedy is a production company and comedy group based in Denver, Colorado. Check out their website, deadroomcomedy.com, where you can subscribe to weekly one-liners, get an email every Monday with original jokes to laugh through the workday. Also, check them out at Dead Room Comedy on Instagram and Facebook, where you can find sketches, stand-up clips, and find out when live shows will resume. Uh, you guys know, I fucking love Dead Room Comedy, and they're supporting us, so... If you can, support them. They have a really dope website, deadroomcomedy.com. You can find information on Elliot Weber, Josh Emerson, Jacob Jonas, and Jeff Stonick. And we actually have two of those boys coming in later this week. Josh Emerson and Jeff Stonick will be on the podcast for next weekend's episode. Uh, I know this episode's a little late, but shit's been weird. I just bought a Harley and spending a lot of time on it. So what are you going to do? This episode is with my boy Tones Herrera, a.k.a. DJ Tones. He's a fucking savage. He's won awards. He's he's a fucking rapper, a DJ, just a super interesting dude. He used to run the music for all of our shows down at Laugh Therapy. That's how we all met him, and he's just a super cool dude. Not only did we get an interview, we also got a live DJ set, which is, it feels like a special thing. It's like an exclusive thing. He dropped some dope shit on our podcast. Also, he had a shout out to Jacob Jonas, so uh, I guess Jacob can feel good about himself for a second. But yeah, we got Josh and Jeff coming on next week, and I want to promote a show. We're finally back at it. Not only are we doing comedy open mics at the Starlight Lounge in Durango every Tuesday, 7 p.m., come support that, but this Friday we got a motherfucking banger. We're back at it. We got a backyard comedy night. It is Friday, July 3rd. I will post it on my facebook and my instagram i'll post it everywhere so you guys can find details if you're in the durango area but listen to some of these motherfucking comics we got zach abeta josh emerson cat savage josh fournier kate mclaughlin drew mitchell brian nystrom ryan mc and many others and i know jeff stonick's gonna be on that shout out to nick coffee for making a show fucking happen um i'm pumped so Friday, if you're in the Durango area and you don't got shit going on, come support some comedy. Come hang out. We'll get drunk. It's BYOB. Do the goddamn thing and have a good time. Um, so, yeah, that's all the announcements I got for today. But I'm really excited for this one. I think you guys are going to like it. Not only is the track by my boy Ethan Esparza, but it's with my other friends, Evan Stambler and James Mirabal. Ethan Esparza and the Chava People are responsible for the intro outro music on this um check out the whiskey reel podcast local durango based podcast check out dead room comedy uh without further ado i hope you enjoy quarantine episode number 23 with our boy tones herrera Imagination, creation, innovation with motivation. I'm chasing my goals, the giants that I be racing. I'ma stride through the finish like a 6'5 Jamaican. Beat in my chest, like, yeah, what my name is. Ink on my chest, what my homie spray paint is. Summer day, so escape. And we're live. Yes. What's up, live Tones? With Tones Herrera. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Oh, good, dude, buddy. so good. Yeah, man. Yeah. What's, what's, what's up with you, man? You know, a lot of nothing. <laughs> So you moved away from Durango, right? Yeah, I did. Where'd you go? I went to I went to Los Angeles. Los Angeles. How yeah. long? For like six months. Really, it was just a, it was just six months of me like. When? I don't like know. Recently. Like, when did I move? It was like you came back September. basically at the beginning of quarantine, right? Yeah, like I came back. Uh, I came back for Snowdown to work to uh, work for yeah. Snowdown, That's and it, then yeah. uh, I worked until uh, St. Patty's Day, and I was gonna go back oh. to Los Angeles, and then. Quarantine. Yeah, happened. you yeah. were gonna DJ the St. Patty's Day show. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna. Motherfucker. S- yeah, it Brian was, was supposed to be on. The- Goddamn COVID, stealing all my dreams. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, dude. I was coming back just for that show, and then I was gonna go right back to to Los Angeles. It was gonna be a surprise too. Yeah, this was like, way more chill than Los Angeles. I bet as a I place mean, to spend the quarantine. I mean, but I as if I, I bet because there's so many fucking people in Los Angeles. Yeah, dude. My aunt lives in Los Angeles. She lives in Torrance. So I saw the the Snapchat she was showing and. 
the lines of people outside of Walmart is way worse than it is over here. Like, yeah, your boy doesn't wait in lines. Yeah, nah. fuck all that. I go early or I don't go. <laughs> I drive through the parking lot. I see a line. I leave. I'm, <laughs> Dude, uh, I, I'm kind of the same way. But if I necessity is necessity, what necessity? Yeah. Go yeah. somewhere else. Fuck it. Like Home Depot, I feel the same way. You can get most of the shit at Tractor Supply. <laughs> you know, that's true. That's really true. And there's not Dude, a lot. They don't count shit at Tractor I Supply. I couldn't find they any any butane around town. You know, during the quarantine, for some weird reason, mm. stopped at Tractor Supply. Bro. Got it. Dude, I got it. I go to Tractor Supply probably three times a week minimum. I buy dog food there. Yeah. I'm mm. from like, Tractor Supply? Yeah, dude. That's that like red shit. So. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. We give them nails. Bro, but that's that. No, it's that fucking. No, they got dank free shit. life, son. <laughs> no, Tractor. Yeah. That, that's not red shit. That's country shit. It's country shit. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, most of the people you see at Tractor Supply are old white people who look at you like well, a fag for wearing a mask. I, I feel <laughs> their words, not mine. I feel a little <laughs> weird though, like because where I grew up in in Ignacio, it's kind of like there's it's, no masks in Ignacio. Wait, you're from Ignacio nah, too? Yeah, from, I grew up in you Ignacio. Did you know Cali? You and Cali both. <laughs> nah. How old are you, Tones? I'm 32. 32. Cali is probably pushing like, 40. Like 45, she, she probably, 50. 45. She probably I'm knows. Just kidding, she yeah. probably knows like my aunts and shit. Yeah, for sure. She knows everyone. Oh shit! Spread <laughs> drugs Excuse with your aunts. only a few years older than us. Dude. Yeah, but she, she, I'm Mexican, mm. so aunts and uncles. Oh yeah, I have an, an, an yeah. Uncle they that's range like my age. Yeah, yeah, your aunt is like probably like six months older than you, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I my my mom's my mom's closest aunt like is literally a month away from no. me. So yeah. your mom's Mexican? Yeah, yeah. My mom's Mexican. And is and your dad, dad native? My dad's half Mexican, and he was he was half native. Yeah, half you yeah. You that's a good yeah. tribe to be Ooh. part of, yeah, man. That's yeah. that. Cash yeah, flows, you gotta be part of one. Yeah. That's, that's however, one. however, he was he was a quarter Southern you and a quarter Mountain you. Oh, so, so what's that mean? So I that means like I can get free. I get free health benefits in both yeah, places. I okay, get, I don't get that cash. Right. I mean, no, no, oh, no. Nah, because if he was a quarter and a quarter, that means nah. he's sixteenth and sixteen. Right. Yeah. What? Yeah. Or, no, if an eighth a, and an eighth. Yeah. Not, yeah, I'm like an eighth and an eighth. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually more Southern you than I am Mountain you. But interesting. Yeah, but it's like really breaks down i heard one time that utes like uh as an average are worth about a million dollars a piece after all because uh, aren't they the richest tribe or i one saw a third? new toyota third, supra yeah. in ignacio today so the third dude uh <laughs> Wait, what i saw a new toyota supra in ignacio today yeah i mean <laughs> and it yeah. pulled into the neighborhood behind like 7 to 11 so they just, definitely live there i, I feel heard they i heard they're worth the most money i feel it's so weird third. though because like I, I remember in high school my friends were getting out of high school and they would they would uh get their their 18 money they would mm. get their graduation money they go off and buy these escalades and shit yeah. and they wouldn't move out of their mom's house that's true <laughs> that was like, i was always like i mean what the fuck is that hood <laughs> rich shit dog that's some ghetto shit right like, there and they, get, and they get pretty cheap housing man like uh, my, for sure my cousin pays like 75 dollars a month <laughs> oh dude in the fucking that's... neighborhood i used to pick up dope in, in atlanta one the grimiest neighborhood in all of atlanta you'd see fucking the sickest yeah. cars dude but, i mean these and these people, people these people get 2400 dollars a month just to sit on their ass you know what i mean a lot of them so that's Damn. more than i make yeah yeah you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I'm DJing, like if I'm seriously DJing, I make that a month. But like, right. I really have to be working like three nights a week. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's the well, funny thing do, about comedy. Nobody gives do you. Do you money. have a side gig, like a, a day job? Nah, you just DJ. No, I just DJ. And how uh, long you been DJing, dude? This is the professionally three years. Three years. Uh, three years. You, I, I've had I've had turntable. I mean, off and on since I was about fourteen. When'd you quit so. your job? Three years ago. About. Good for you, man. I worked man. at Homewood Suites, man. Dude, that's uh, Homewood Suites. You? That's my dream. And then I don't care if I, was, I make well, much. See, I was I was already signed yeah. to Universal. I was already like a touring musician as far as uh, rapper goes, right. and I was making a little bit of cash. Like I made my one hundred fifty dollars a night, shit like that. Uh huh. That's made, good. You that's know good. whatever. But then like, I, I was married, and then and then my wife left me, and I as soon as that happened, I went to my boss, and I was like, hey, like you got to find somebody else, because. <laughs> like, I'm going to I'm going to like quit my Your job. Your boy's going to yeah. travel. Travel. Yeah. And you didn't yeah. have any kids at the time? No, 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 no. You don't have any kids? Uh Your girl does? My girl has a kid. Yeah. I yeah. I consider that my my daughter though. Right. I've know, met her. Yeah. yeah. She, you know. She yeah. she calls me dad. How so. long were you married? 3 years. Okay. She had kids. She had two kids. Oh, Those really? kids were hella cool, man. Like I I miss them. You miss them? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you talked have you had any communication since? Uh, I talked to the older one every once in a while. How old? But 
Uh, he's like 14, 13 that's, now. That's yeah. a reasonable age. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's, I leave it up to them. Come at you, you know? like a person. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean? Other than a child that you're I mean, worried that, that is, kid, isn't going to understand. That kid was grown up when I met him. Like, right. He was yeah. seven years old, but he was already like... Uh, a man? Yeah, we, we had a, <laughs> Born we had a fucking... Yeah, we had a fucking uh, a Subaru Outback, right? And uh, he was like... He didn't want to sit next to his brother, and he was like, why don't you let me sit in the front seat? I'm tall enough now, le- legally, and this and that. And I was like, how do you know this stuff? He's like, well, I looked on my smartphone, and I looked it up. Yeah, you come to me with statistics. Yeah. It's hard to argue. And then, yeah. and, then, <laughs> and then and then, I was like, well, I think it's I feel more comfortable sitting in the front seat. He's all, but look, if I sit in the front seat, that will cut down on you arguing with me about fighting with my Holy brother shit. like started coming at with me with all these honest like Sounds things. Sounds like a smart like, kid, dude. He was hella smart. Yeah. Like, was his mom that way? But it yeah, also kinda. sounds a little bit of manipulative. A little well, manipulative. Well, yeah. his his dad is a his real dad is a, a big time lawyer. Oh, in, in, oh, that's where Phoenix. he gets it, dude. Yeah, dude. And that's like my wife, dude. Her cat, her her dad was a big time lawyer. Yeah, and she, you don't want to argue with her, dude. No, you like, can't. <laughs> you can't argue with that kid. Yeah. Like there's just no like, and he didn't didn't really know his dad or anything. That shit's just like that has to be just genetic. Uh-huh. He was, he was sure. born with, and he was already like he he had a, a shoe sale business like. His aunts and shit would the get kid? rid of. Yeah, he would. They would get rid of their like their high heels because they mm. were fancy. Mm. So he'd be getting like you know nice ass Chanel fucking boots, some Jessica Simpsons and whatnot. And he'd take them to the flea market here and he'd sell them, dude. Good kid. He'd be like seven dollars for the lot, easy. Like I'll I'll pay you at the end of the day. Nice. <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm talking wow. about. Yeah, were you still cool. living in Nashville then, or no? I lived when you were in the married? projects on uh, on a Royal Drive here in Durango. Royal yeah. Drive. Whereabouts is that? By Needham Elementary. I oh, okay. do know where that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you if you Back if, there if you've ever been hurting for any like you know stuff and the dispensaries are closed, you've been there. Is that near like twenty <laughs> behind Twenty Second? I think so, or something like something that. Something like that. Yeah, somewhere up, up there. there, close to the rec center, and yeah, yeah. Just you just turn left, right, right by the yeah, high school. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know where that is. That's not the projects, bro. I mean, it's the project as far as Durango calls. For Durango. Yeah. <laughs> this no. is the pro. Well, nah. my house. Well, All the other houses are nah, gangsters bro, as fuck, and then there's like a mini <laughs> project. Ign- Ign- Ignacio's the project that's for true. La Plata County. You that's know fair. I mean? yeah. That's that's yeah. There's there's a rough part of Bayfield too. <laughs> is it really? No, dude. <laughs> bro. Yes. Really, dude. Bayfield no. goes from. No way. It just depends. <laughs> if All you right, see so if you if you see hoods, you got to run, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh so God. the bottom of the barrel in Bayfield is just white trash. Just literally, my house looks and, nice. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I I have to like just just because this has been my community forever, and like I don't I hate talking bad about stuff, but. Bayfield has always been our rivals as far as high school goes and all this shit. So like, oh, I don't feel bad talking about Bayfield, man. Dude, and Callie came on a couple weeks ago talking about how she used to fuck some football player from Bayfield, and his girlfriend was a cheerleader at Bayfield and walked in on them fucking one time, and didn't say shit until wow. years later when she was pregnant with the football player's baby, and then wrote on Callie's window, "This car belongs to a fucking whore." Wow, dude, that's <laughs> wild, dude. But Kelly was like, I didn't fuck her up because she was like eight months pregnant, but yeah, thought about it for sure. Callie's hood is fuck. That's why I like that bitch. <laughs> I mean, she's from Ignacio, man. I like, know. It's kind of it, it's kind of weird. That's what what I was just saying. Like being from Ignacio, like I grew up, like I know how to irrigate. Where'd you live Where'd you guys? Ignacio? I lived I lived on Northridge, man. I lived right where like all the hustlers lived, and you know, I I saw a lot of weird shit. Yeah, so yeah cheaper like, stuff. Three. Yeah. I know about the, that's where all the rich like. Okay, so our parents on that neighborhood were all you. So, f- but we none of us were you. So we were all we were all hustling. We were all robbing people. Like we were just being right. idiot kids, man. How and far like, was it to town? Uh, it's right behind thrift. You know where that the gas station is? It used to be called Thriftway, and there's those buildings right next to it. Oh yeah, yeah it's the, that hill the right buildings, behind it. The yeah. Red Cedar and shit. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. right behind it. Yeah, I've uh, I've checked fire extinguishers on wells up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I've explored most places. Yeah. Is checking fire extinguishers. No, it's crazy. I, heard, I heard my dad's house turned into a trap house, so it's kind of like well, shit, reverting back to its <laughs> original state. You know what I mean? I mean, not my dad's house, it's, but the the neighborhood. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Like all of us idiot kids grew up, and now all of our parents are retired and <laughs> have RVs and fences. Yeah. You know. And all the kids are just yeah. fucking. But it, it's weird though, cause shit. yeah, cause like you know, I grew up real country too. Like I, I used to ride ride bulls and horses yeah. and shit. And Did fuck. you? Yeah, hell yeah. Do you like like a like um what's it called? 
like a like a bucky Mechanical bronco bull? and shit oh. like that no like like a, a real like, like I rodeo mean, like, like yeah, rodeo yeah. rodeo yeah. yeah well i wouldn't rodeo no right. but okay. uh, my friends it's uh, just what you did for fun you didn't have to go compete well my friends right, were, my right. friends like, were there's ass- a horse my, wow. yeah <laughs> my friends were assholes bro right like they would be like hey come drink with us mm-hmm. and then they would all like you know i'm uh, i used to be very peer pressure easy, yeah easy to peer pressure except uh. for drugs not with drugs but with being stupid, like being I'm a man, stupid, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but it, it was man. being yeah. a man at yeah. the time, right? Not like, necessarily because I've never, I've never had that mentality. Hmm. But I mean, like, uh, or to fit in. Not really. You know not what I mean? really. I think I've been talked into a lot of dumb shit. I think because I, think, I wanted to fit in. I think or honestly, I think honestly, my friends thought it was funny that a kid in baggy pants and a fitted cap was getting on a fucking bull. In, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. That shit. I would take it's a picture. Weird. Oh yeah, they have they have so much video evidence of this. It's really, <laughs> like I it, when I get famous, I'm like dreading the day that like my friends are like. Yeah, he used to ride bulls. Dude, it's just a cherry on top funny. of the legend. Yeah, it's dude. awesome, dude. Well, they have this video where where this bull fucking smashed my face, dude, and I'm bloody as hell. Oh out. no, shit! <laughs> That's yeah. gangster. Yeah, the, the Look n- at you now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I yeah. don't know why you're ashamed of it, dude. Yeah, you should give us I, a this, copy this of that picture to post in the front of this episode. If you, I would give love me that. a good or copy. At the end, at I'll if I can find these humans, yeah, I'll frame it and put it on the wall. Brian, what would you think about that? If you can get us one digitally, let's put it at the end of the episode. I have a couple pictures I can get get for you guys like some funny fucking pictures. i don't need to like, put my logo at the beginning we'll just put a picture of you all <laughs> fucked up no you still need if, your logo <laughs> if i can get it yeah you can just put it on the corner it's everywhere yeah logos everywhere don't worry about that <laughs> yes there's nothing better than a good old bull smashing so can i ask you like i know this is your guys' podcast but like i'm i'm kind of used to please being the this is an open forum like oh. how did how did you guys get get started into comedy like shit let's let's start with you yeah. okay i uh well i mean i've been a following it and watching it since i was a kid but i never i was always more into music to be honest like growing up i was always more into music did it seem more possible what's music. that did music seem no, more possible I didn't even to think be of successful it that way. no it wasn't even that i just truly thought i was going to be a successful musician I've been and there. and you know and life happened and i uh, i mean i still can make music i mean i make beats on reason you know i just uh, I still do that, but like not like I was before. And anyway, so if you make me a beat to scratch on, I'd love that. I got some. I got I plenty. I need an intro song. <laughs> but uh, so what's I funny? Too. What's funny? I just started. Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. I would love to right, collab. Continue. I'm so. I'm no, so sorry. No, that's okay. I would love to collab on a beat with you, dude. Yeah, dude. I play great. bass. Okay, but so what actually kick started it after years of like just following it is um I was <laughs> I like came across this podcast on on the internet like in 2016 called kill tony uh which at the time was only like three years old and like i i started watching it and then like i realized that these comics like get pulled out of a bucket go up for 60 seconds and then especially towards the beginning of kill tony they gave feedback they gave feedback and notes on and so like i kind of like started studying that and watching that and i did that for like over a year and a half or about a year and a half almost and then, like, I just, like, I felt like like I was writing the whole time, and then eventually I put together a five-minute set and decided to just say, fuck it, go for it. And, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's – and then I just never stopped. I was I was hooked immediately. Oh, dude. I and mean, it started soon, here, right? Yeah, in Durango. Mm-hmm. I think the first set I ever did was at Laugh Therapy, and I did not know – that it was like sponsored by like say so or whatever, which I don't even know what that was at the time, but it's like a Sasso, yeah. Sasso. S-A-S-O, it was S-A-S-O, like some sort yeah. of like and I told a rape joke in the very first set I did and it was at a say so event <laughs> and I didn't uh, Wasn't Allie hosting? <laughs> yeah, she did not like it Ouch. at all, dude. Like Ouch. and I don't blame her. I just truly didn't know. And the the rape joke was just like a true story from something that happened in my in my life. So like, yeah, I was just elaborating on that and and like you uh, know, yeah, laughing about it. But uh, it was a pedophile religious rape. Oh yeah, yeah I know. His, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, his yeah. Shit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, to clarify for the listeners, yeah, yes. it was a yes. religious pedophile rape joke. Well, and, and to it, clarify for the listeners, they're talking about laugh therapy. I, yes. I was the DJ for the laugh. DJ. Yeah, DJ of laugh that's therapy how we met. for like yeah yeah. Dude. That's where we all met after yeah. my first set at laugh therapy. I so. Dude, to be to be fair, I've known Jill longer than I've known all you motherfuckers. Yeah. You know I mean? Well, yeah, you've only known me she's for been, eighteen months or so. <laughs> well, we she's did we did a four twenty we did a four twenty festival that I, I can remember. Okay, I've met her I've met her years and years yeah. ago. 
But, you know, kid from the res, I got, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had an alcohol problem as soon as I got out of high school. That's how, that's how it goes. Me too, um, dog. I thought, you were, <laughs> oh wait, I, th- I thought if you were native, you were born with an alcohol problem. I mean, Psych. I mean some people kidding. have a problem with alcohol, well, I, but I was, he's only he's only a quarter native, dick. Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, quarter, half native. You know, and, and the only uh, time the only time I didn't quarter. have an alcohol problem before that. Because my Mexican side was telling me, like, you don't have an alcohol problem, pussy, stop. And <laughs> Mexican <laughs> tolerance, dog. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, as you get older. That's you know, good, man. My Start facial hair started shit. going less. I have to shave less. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I've never really had to shave yo, much. I'm, 30, I'm 32 years old. I have a full head of I'm hair t- under this hat. And I wear hats yeah. every day. I do, yeah. too, you know bro. I mean? Me, too. Every day. I wear a hat every goddamn day. Me, too. Beca- well, especially right now. <laughs> yeah, you but better. I have to, to fucking tame this goddamn thing that i'm getting cut off tomorrow pretty it's pretty uh uh. but yeah i think there's a correlation between (laughs) hair on your head and a lack of hair on your face so how did you get started in comedy (laughs) that's not true (laughs) your hair is thinner than mine what do you mean me thanks well my bald friends have more facial hair that's funny that's true that is hilarious i never thought about that i know with like thick hair yeah don't have a lot of facial yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mine's mean, like you thinner have, than yours. Absolutely, mine's thinner. But than yours. you have facial hair, but it's right. not like a fucking. I can't grow a beard, beard. Right, but Drew yeah. could. Right, and he's, he's bald the as baldest fuck. fuck I know. Yeah. God, yeah. I never thought Dude, about my friend, that. I've thought about it so much. That's so my, funny. My friend, my friend Don hasn't had fucking hair on his head since he was like 22. He has yeah. A Does he have a full beard? beard? Exactly. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, there's a correlation. Hair goes somewhere. Weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> goes up or down, baby. Hey, I prefer it to be like this than bald. Yeah, I mean, hey, yo, being Native American, you know, you grow, you grow up with your hair long, and mm-hmm. like, you uh-huh. know what I mean. So when your first traumatic uh, death happens, that's when you cut your hair off. And no, you, what? Yeah, that's, that's the yeah. tradition. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the the original tradition. However, You're a new man. However, dude, that my mom took me to to my barber. I remember I was like four or five years old. Yeah. I remember it. She took me to the barber, Lisa Tucson at J.C. Penney. How hard was your? How long was your hair? I, I'm not sure Hulk Hogan Down status. to your back Hulk Hogan status It wasn't yeah. that bad right. It wasn't uh, that bad okay. That's what mine looked um, like When I went to jail But yeah. just <laughs> thick and luscious You know what I mean <laughs> But anyway I went I went to get my haircut And this chick gave me This sick fade dude Like I looked fly <laughs> And I remember looking In that mirror I was like mom This, this is it This is it This you is know? it like, This is happening Every time that I'm Getting a haircut Fade And your mom's hey. Mexican Yeah yeah She doesn't yeah. give a fuck like she doesn't give. A she's fuck. not like traditional Native American where nah, she's gonna nah, be like, but, but, this I isn't mean, your way. Yeah, you know. Like, however, however, I mean, I'll put it this way: my mom more so than Did my you father. Have a tia? I have, dude. I have so much. Did any of them care if your hair was long? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, aren't, I Mexi- so. aren't, aren't a lot of Mexicans are actually natives? Well, if you too, know right? if you know it, the, anything about the Native Ute American, tribe, the Ute tribe speak Utah Azteca. We're d- we're you know. We're uh, descendants from the Aztecan people. Uh huh. So right, like, yeah. so like we're Mexican. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? And that's like, how they fought for their right exactly. to get more money. Yeah, I mean, and obviously, like yeah. Spain runs deep in my family because right. like oh, my dad, sure. my dad's Light native, skin. and I still yeah. came out like this. I was about to say that's where the you pale, the paler <laughs> yeah. skin comes you know from. What right? I mean? it's, it's Spain. Yeah, my yeah. grandpa is fucking light skinned as hell really? bro. and his his wife, my my nana, she's at she's at my house right now, and she's dark, bro. The uh, my ex wife, she's from Michoacan. She didn't believe I was Mexican until she met my grandma. She's like, no "Oh shit! shit. Oh <laughs> really? She no, needed proof." It, yeah, she's like, "Oh <laughs> shit! I saw it. She was making tortillas and everything, man." Uh-huh. <laughs> There's a lot. Of, yeah, Mexican is such a broad term. Oh yeah, like you get from yeah, like super dark Mexicans, and then you got like Oscar De La Hoya. And you got Louis C.K. Bro, you know the dude who runs the box? The born Jinx? in Mexico City. Yeah, yeah, Louis yeah. C.K. Yeah, yeah, but born in Mexico. He's got a white parent for sure. No. I he's think Portuguese. But Okay. Yeah, I think he's Portuguese. Portuguese. Dude, when I, I lived in when Mexican. I lived in Brooklyn, he used to go by the comedy store like right next to uh-huh. to my spot all the time. You mean comedy seller? Seller? Yeah. Th- yeah, the seller. Yeah. 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 I was also confused. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I I hardly pay attention to like names of places. I just listen to podcasts constantly. I'm a a kid of the '90s, bro. So like, I just wander. You know what I mean? I wander the streets. Fuck yeah! I used to wander New York City all the time too, bro. A lot. Yeah. My grandparents lived in Rutherford, New Jersey, for I mean, for my whole life. New Jersey's rough. I I know. I I thought I thought New York was rough, and then I went to visit my friends in New Jersey to play some basketball. New Jersey's no joke, bro. (laughs) Rough how? But rough like it's like we play ghetto. I mean, not ghetto. It's no. I'll put it this way. I was in I was in East Orange. It's the ghetto of New York. Yeah. Like. 
No, it's New know, Jersey. It's New well, Jersey. I know. Yeah. I know. Like it's a different thing. Past like, like 108th Street is supposed to get pretty rowdy right, in New that's York. That's Harlem. Oh, Harlem, but, homie. But yeah. Jersey's like the to people that don't want to live in Harlem that can't afford to live. To in be New honest York. with you, though, my my DJ my DJ Hello. is from Sugar Hill. I was in Harlem all the time. Was uh-huh. he really? Is all really? The, yeah, he's from Sugar Hill, one, one, uh, 129th Street. So I was there all the time, man. Do like, you speak it was Spanish? My favorite. Oh, nah. Oh, bro. No, he was just right by the, he was right, by the, like, like, here was the Latin quarters, mm-hmm. and then he was, like, four streets over. He no, was right, do you speak Spanish? Nah, right? dude. Hell no. <laughs> I feel like that helped you in Harlem. Nah, it just would. Just throw though. some fucking Espanol. No, but you know, you know what did help me is knowing, like, key words. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just regular key words, and then. Drug as soon, words. As soon as they. <laughs> I didn't have to worry about that, man. I don't do drugs. No, but it's good to speak the <laughs> fucking lingo of the people that do. That's true. That's true. That's how I've gotten out of a lot of situations. Just drop a few fancy words on somebody. And they're like, oh, this guy's cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what you were saying about New Jersey is fucking true, dude. Like, it's yeah. something grimier about northern Bro, New Jersey. We went, <laughs> like I was just saying, we went to East Orange, me and my buddy. And he had this, this uh, I don't know, like a, a Saturn or something. Some fucking piece of shit. Car, yeah. yeah. But it was a piece of shit car. And we were in East Orange. We were playing basketball at full court, five on five, and like we were on one side of the court, and we could see the car. We go to the other side of the court, and the game slows down a little bit. We're passing the ball around. By the time we get back to that side, the car's gone, <laughs> just gone, bro. Like and like and like we're we're defending, and then we get the rebound. <laughs> and I remember getting the rebound. And I look over, and I was like, "Hey." Oh, hey, your God. car's gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got some like, motherfucking professionals. Is yeah, what no, yeah. no, no. Like, and they, they even like, they even like had it had cinder block sitting like right where it w- would have been. Right. <laughs> like, God damn, dude. dude why why put the cinder like where they just gonna take the tires off and couldn't get them off in time? So they're like, fuck it, we'll just jack the whole car. <laughs> or they wanted to steal the car. Cinder blocks were like Plan B. <laughs> so. We can't get the car. We'll take the fuck ribs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Damn, dude, that's fucked up. Yeah, my my parents got their. Uh, I mean, not the whole car, but just the radio stolen. They went on just short walk around Central Park or like through Central Park, and by uh, the time they got back, dude, their radio, their yeah. car had been broken into and radio gone. No, I mean shit. New York's rough though. I mean New York's, New York's tough, but you awesome. put your head down and walk. You know what I mean? Sure. Like just like everybody else in New York, like yeah. that, that's just how they are. Nobody gives a fuck about yeah, what you're I, doing. There. I know how to Did blend. you ever spend uh, New Year's Eve in New York City? No, I mean I spent, I, I spent New York City New Year's Eve, but I didn't do the New York City. I New did, Year's dude, Eve three different times, yeah. and I was by myself like every time. Oh wow, that's and, crazy. Were you doing drugs? Nope. Uh, no. Well, actually, Hold. the last time, uh, the first two, I was like 17. Or no, I was like eighteen and nineteen, and then the third one, I was on drugs for the third one. I was twenty one, because I re- I remember wow. uh, Klonopin and, and Percocet. Ooh, so I've, done those. I've done those. I've done those. I've done those. Yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember specifically though. Those are drugs. I know. Yeah. Those, I know. Yeah. Those, those things. They the doctor dude, gave would, them to me. Though. I'll never forget this, same, dude. Same. In New York City was so is so packed on and on New Year's Eve. Like I like you on Times could, Square? yeah in Times Square wow, I couldn't dude. breathe from being outside. I like went into a bar and smoking was still allowed to at get the time <laughs> to get air to get a breath of fresh. I went into a smoke cloud. You were just drinking CO two. Hey, yo, or oh, breathing dude, it was CO2. so hard to breathe. I mean, like I've never seen so many people congregate in one. Do you ever get panic spot. attacks? Oh, I have. You seem like yeah. the kind of cat oh, that might. Yeah, I no have. offense. I've just got, no, no. <laughs> as somebody that knows you pretty well, you, you do. See, and you're right, Phil too. Like, I have gotten them. Phil could easily get a panic attack in like a big crowd of people. Hey, like, oh, dude, I, I have I'll a, hyperventilate sometimes. I have, yeah. a, I have a question, man. Like, like as the DJ, I'm supposed to know all the comics. Mm. I don't know all the comics. So, like, that, you know means the good ones. Not, that means they're there's not some, memorable. But there's some good people <laughs> that, that were mem- <laughs> Like I remember their jokes, but mm. like I don't remember who they are. That just all. means you drink too much, Tones. That's fine. <laughs> you're a DJ. <laughs> who gives a fuck? You're at least you're not t- doing lines off the fucking mixer, dude, dude. Whenever, whenever I was doing laugh therapy here, I, the girlfriend that I'm with is is the girlfriend that I, I that I've been with the whole time. Yeah, that, that I, I met. Yeah, that the, you've met with yeah. the rowdy little kid. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> yeah. She's, uh, she's that kid's awesome. cool kid. 
cool yeah. kid. Dude, yeah. hella talented. Shit, I just paid her twenty dollars to spit a bar. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, dude. Did you? Yeah, be, well, cool. because she wouldn't. She wouldn't. I heard her Did doing it. Did you film it? No, but I heard her doing it in. In you know, she was in the bathtub, bro. Right. And she was like saying in it. Her and I was element, like, dog. I was like, hey, what song is that? She was all, it's my song. And I was like, you're making your own lyrics now. She's like, yeah. Oh fuck it yeah, like, dude. Word. So then I was like, are you gonna put that on the microphone? She's like, I just don't feel comfortable. How old? Four. Mm. Four years old. Yeah. And this she seems like that. an articulate kid that understands what lyrics and she likes all these DJ things with are. Me too. But she loves But DJ. growing cool up with you, fuck. it makes sense that she would understand that, right? Like guess, my dude, kid's I gonna understand old... punchlines and shit like that. Yeah. Hey, like, my kid's gonna know punchlines too, though. Right. I was a battle yeah, rapper. Dude, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah dude. I, I wanted to talk about well also oh, we'll get into the comedy thing in a little bit, but I was I wanted to ask you about the battle rap, dude. Like Oh, did, battle like, rap. What like how long you been doing it and then like did you do big competitions around the country? Yeah, I did. I did. Not, I've not seen big, a lot of not videos. Big competitions, but I've I've done I've done competitions around the country. They've been filmed and on YouTube and shit? Yeah, there's there's a few on some, YouTube. I've seen a bunch. Yeah, they're, they're so I've, fun. The ones on YouTube I've lost a lot. Oh but really? Like, I mean, I grew up like I said. I'm from the '90s, 2000s, and uh, uh-huh. you know, a lot of the battle rap tournaments that I went to were not filmed, and it was really uh-huh. fun, dude. Like, so I'm how old were you when you started then? Battle rapping? Yeah. Uh, 14. Okay. 14 years You're old. It started. Now? Yeah, it started. I lived. <laughs> it's odd. I lived in Aztec, New Mexico, for five years. Uh, I was 11 years old to 16. Right. Okay. <laughs> I lived there. And uh, my brother was a rapper. My brother is a rapper. Steven Lay, he's my brother. Shout out. Right on. Um, and I'm working on music with him right now, which is kind of cool because I haven't worked on music with him since we were teenagers. So that's what's up. Cool. Yeah, cool. And now, now that I'm a DJ, he's like super excited. He's like, now I have a DJ. Like, fuck dude. yeah, dude. dude. Yeah. So anyway, back, yeah. We're, we're go back to, to starting this. Um, well, him and my cousin were, were a rap group in 1997. They were called Straight Crazy. Uh-huh. He was about eight or nine years old, and uh, they were like, "Hey, we need a hype man." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we need a hype man. Like, we yeah. just need one. Like, like if we can't, we can't. Like, if one of us runs out of breath, we have to have somebody recover for us. Sure. So then I was training to do that, and I did that with my brother after he became solo and all this stuff. And whenever I was seven or fourteen years old, um, Skateway USA in Farmington, New Mexico. Right, uh-huh. they held rap battle tournaments after Eight Mile happened. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! And uh, and uh, I showed up to these battle rap tournaments, and uh, they needed a rapper. And uh, you know, my brother was like, "Hey, like, I heard you spit some shit. Like, why don't no you, shit. you know, You're why don't 14? you?" Yeah, I was fourteen years old, and uh, I didn't do good the first tournament. Sure, like, honestly, but I came back the next week. And then the week after that, and the week after that, That's and eventually it started it's winning. Persistence, yeah, man. yeah. That's the key. And if, but I've always, I always knew like it's just it was just the fact that I didn't know how to hold the microphone and I didn't know how to uh, how to how to rap on a microphone. Like you had the rapping skills, you just didn't yeah. know the actual the etiquette. Technique, yeah, no microphone the actual, technique. Like, yeah, uh, and the um, yeah. So I had these bars, but people weren't hearing me. You know what I mean? Sure. They didn't hear it's like me. Max sure. Turner. Yeah, the, yeah. He's got exactly jokes, right. but nobody knows what they are because. You gotta be kids fucking Max, ten feet from. Is that the kid that hilarious. did last night? Uh huh. He, that's he the kid. Tuesday. He's yeah. the he's the kid that does this this uh boss gag joke, uh, boss gags joke, right? And he did this stuff, and he was like, he was like, uh, this is like the whitest thing, the whitest song that I've ever heard. And I was like thinking to myself, that's a famous breakbeat <laughs> <laughs> in hip hop, like a real famous breakbeat, and like and he should, doesn't know this shit. <laughs> you should make fun of him for it. That's funny. no, but you know I like he the kid. No, he's a good kid, and he's yeah. and he's funny. He's probably done like a dozen sets. Yeah, he's he's getting pretty fucking. He's new. getting yeah. closer to figuring out how to work the mic. He held it up this time. But just but he did not project. He spoke into this. He spoke into the side too. I told if him right just, before he went up to project. Can I be real with you guys? My favorite comedian to record on those times that I was recording uh-huh. was the Jacob, quiet one, Jacob Jonas. Oh yeah. Oh really? Because his, his, his voice, voice, his voice is so oh, yeah. fucking pristine. Yes, you're right. So Confident. pristine. Yeah, you're right. I, and, I really. And he's like he's so. Yeah. E- arrogant. <laughs> White you know what I mean? Like just. <laughs> 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 like, like it's just a, such a perfect like he has a good yeah. he has a good he bit. doesn't have a worry in the world yeah he has a good bit Dude, <laughs> literally his dad his dad paid me three hundred dollars to dj his thing I we were there <sighs> oh yeah for a while i was the only one that but, roasted him that day yeah. Nuh-uh. 
you were the only I one mean, that roasted him at the time. I like because then we all what got. What do you mean? Because when you left to the, I had to go to the other show to that show, right? Yeah, the straighter uh, show. Yeah, and uh, um, people showed up. No and shit. And they started roasting oh, that mo- those motherfuckers. Well, good, because I was and like, then, but I had I had like I didn't know it was a roast, so like I was DJing, but then I had my little memo pad, and I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna roast these pizzas. Did you end up going too. up, Tom? Yeah. Well, I had the microphone to begin yeah, with. Like, I know, you know what I mean? I know, so I like. Know. Know. But no, I'll, I think I recall that because fir- we came back after. Yeah, the you were there. I don't know if you did. You were yeah, there. I brought Cause, Phil. Because remember, I got, pi- hot I got pissed off. <laughs> I got pissed off because, you know, Joshua was the other side. Uh-huh. I was like, he couldn't even kick in with fry bread. Right. Nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? Like, no, but it was such a fun party, man. Like, dude, dude, that was I was. Yeah, that was fun. I'll like, be I'll be honest with you, man. I got so drunk. So I, drunk. Hey dude, I, call, I, remember I, call, what I called my girl know. and I was like, you got to pick me up. You might not want to deal with me. <laughs> I, I think you did. I think yeah. you told me that that night. I think we were talking at the bar as shit was wrapping he up. Was and you were like, I got to call my girl because oh, no. I'm too fucked up. Yeah, I, I, left yeah. my, I left my Camry and my turntables in a downtown <laughs> Durango oh all night and like just locked it up and, and just took off. I and when we got went to McDonald's. Right. I got a burger. <laughs> I sp- dude I have, hammered I, McDonald's. No, uh, dude, and I was wearing Ideal. you know does the I, job. I, I wear like the po- like the polo sweaters and the Alfani sweaters and mm. all that shit. I was wearing my nice gray like n- Alfani cardigan, dude. Making three hundred dollars. Yeah, Being professional. But but, <laughs> yeah, but I went to eat my McDonald's and I was fucked up, bro. I don't remember it, but I woke up and I saw this big ketchup stain on my Alfani <laughs> <laughs> sweater, and I was just like, oh my god, what happened? And my girl was like. Drunk ass, dumb ass happened. <laughs> oh shit! Makes sense. Yeah, yeah but that was a fun. She she show, does dude. she does not like me when I'm drunk, like at all. Like fuck. Most people don't like most people when they're drunk. I don't like me when I'm drunk, but I like me playing video games when I'm drunk. Right. Because I think I'm so good. No, I have a pretty not, good time the same when thing. I'm drunk yeah. alone. It's when other people get involved that it causes problems. <laughs> so you're like George Throwgood, huh? Well, I drink alone. I drink alone. I prefer. You know, that's red shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's red <laughs> shit. Red shit. <laughs> Bro, we had to oh, drive man. 15 minutes to get hey, a beer. Hey, like, so to get a some beer. I saw I saw this Oof. fucking pot or this uh, Snapchat. It was your Snapchat. Mine. I don't even have Snapchat. Or was it Jacob? It was either yours or Jacob Jonas's. No, <laughs> I, whoever, well, I don't have it. So. Whoever was with <laughs> you at uh at Albuquerque. And like the the hotel room you guys were staying oh, in. Oh, that was <laughs> Phoenix. It was Elliot. Or Phoenix. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Elliot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Me Elliot. and Elliot. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. They dude. stayed in a murderer slash rape room. Oh, we yeah. talking about the video that <laughs> yeah. I took Downtown of that Phoenix. hotel. Oh yeah, man. Dude. I hope I still have that. I I got it on one of my phones. It's on Facebook, I think, or something. <laughs> oh, did I put it on I Facebook? Saw it. Okay. Yeah, dude, that was a fucked up room, dude. Like, I kept looking out the window hey, to make sure my truck. Was I saw there. I saw that, and I'm like, then they know how rappers feel. Yeah, they know how oh, to dude. do that, dude. There's dude, one time guys, I did. You guys probably make more than we do. Uh, d- d- I did. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll be like real, we like, literally paid to be in that room. Like, yeah, to me do- and Dave both have dude, one have, liners on the internet. I haven't. And I haven't we got paid. five dollars each. <laughs> I haven't Dead paid to do a show in like fucking eight years or something like that. Like, I've been paid. What? To do, yeah. How you been paying the bills, son? I mean, like, it, I had jobs at times, but then yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like. Whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean. Whatever. Yeah. So how how many times would you say you've done stand up comedy? Three times. Three. Three times. I've seen them all. Was he, the first, he's seen them all. Was the first one the one we were just talking about at the Jacob? Because I go to all the no. sets like a professional. That's all. No, that was the first time I roasted. <laughs> well, that was the first time. Okay, I've done roasts. I've seen. I've, seen I've done you roasts. Perform. Like right. I've I've done battle rap. I don't know if that if that does comedy but i had some really funny no, 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 muscle. No, no. i'm talking about stand-up comedy, stand-up no, comedy no music where had, involved where i had a set then i'm yeah, just three curious times, three, three times. that's cool because i've did. seen you do that one time and it was at uh starlight, starlight. starlight yeah and your mom was there and you yeah. fucking murdered it. i was like holy shit i always perform re- so good when, I'm, when my mom's in front of me like <laughs> yeah that's adorable well it, you know all right like, pressure it, makes can, diamonds like, can i talk about my mom always. i never i never talk about let's do this don't even as long as you're not gonna you know admit to a crime she did Within the statute of limitations, do it. I mean, she's a federal <laughs> offender, bro. Like, she's she's, she's fine. She's fine. She's she's good. Are we all? She's comfortable with, with her past. Anyway, you she's a, 
for her being a federal offender, she's the sweetest fucking human in the world. <laughs> like she the was so yeah. nice, dude. No, she yeah, is. She she's is so nice. You know, it's just you know people. What's have her name? Victoria? No, Ver- Ver- Veronica. I Veronica. Veronica. Fuck Veronica. How did you almost fuck that? Up? Right, oh, you're gonna have so many sweet, V's in my fa- in my life, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so many V's. There's so many V's in my life. Bro. It's hard out there for I a wish pimp. I could, yeah, I was gonna say. I wish I could say that. Yeah, I've had so many V's. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Anyway, back to <laughs> anyway, Veronica. So back to my mom's. Like, uh, so I mean, I wouldn't be an entertainer at all without my mom. Like, period. Like, she pushed you, huh? I mean, not uh, she pushed. Or is she, or she just an entertainer now, yeah. or supported. No, she's she's a horrible entertainer. She can't sing. No, she's what about like funny, she funny? She's funny. Yeah. Though, what yeah. about around the house? Yeah, was she always just talking shit? My no. mom talks well, mad shit. Well, she love it. my yeah, mom. She does. Yeah, she mad does. Yeah, the game of the deuces, bro. My yeah. mom's fan. Dude, my mom, like, the first girl that I ever brought home, she looked at me and she's like, "Oh shit, bro, I thought you were gay." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, my dad said the same thing. If you're yeah, wondering. I was like, I was like, what the fuck, mom? Like, that is hilarious. You know what kind of porn I watch? You took my stash. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, but yeah, like, my mom also found my porn. <laughs> she knew I wasn't gay. Yeah. yeah, but then like, um, nah, man. Like, so whenever I was a kid, she was a fan of of these two groups, and and like, it's so funny because she wasn't a huge fan of these groups, but she just she was the kind of person to support artist that so she, she had liked. a cd yeah well not even cds a tape she was like a, a a part of their fan clubs oh, so sh- she had vhs that's a lot of support yeah okay. but she, the vhs yeah but she was a fan of a lot of things right. you know what i mean but these were just like just the two of the minor things but i've never seen something like this see well one of them was hip-hop but it was these little kids from fucking are they from atlanta crisscross crisscross yeah crisscross yeah crisscross are from atlanta and it was a a video of their music videos obviously and then after their music videos was a live performance in Atlanta. Oh shit. And that was the first time I've ever seen a rapper like or rappers performing, performing telling live. people to say say hey, say ho. Right. You know what I mean doing this and that and I'm like sitting there thinking these kids are fucking my age, dude. Oh my well, god. Well, they were a little yeah. bit older were- than me, but but I was like, dude, they're like they're kids, dude, and they're like they were kids. come come to find out they're writing most of their lyrics. I mean, Jermaine Dupri helped them, of course, but they're and writing. Jermaine most of their Dupri shit. is the one that put the fucking uh, sweatsuits on backwards. Well, and that and, was his idea. And also another thing on why I'm a DJ, their DJ DJ Nabs had a break on on uh, Chris Cross's the bomb. It's called DJ Nabs Break, and that is one of my favorite scratches in history. I've loved it since I was. What's like, his name? DJ Nab. DJ Nabs. Yeah, he was. He's the motherfucking. You should. You know him. You definitely. I mean, I, I mean being, no, being, f- being from Atlanta. Name. Well, he's a radio DJ out there and everything too. He's fantastic. He's just he's huge uh, out there. He, uh, and I, I always commend him because, like, as far as skills go as a DJ, I've been paying attention to the DMC and whatnot. Like, he's not like the no. most outlandish but he has these the just that style fundamentals just that style his, his style doesn't stink you know what yeah, i mean yeah, it yeah. smells good right you know what i mean like he sprays cologne all over that shit yeah. you know what <laughs> I mean? you know what i mean so like and and my mom had that but also uh she, you know that band slaughter you know up all night sleep all oh, yeah, day yeah, yeah. anyway uh they're she, like warrant they yeah the, a couple bangers. The, the, the hair bands yeah. and stuff but like I like I'm not a huge fan of them, but the video that she had of them was recording their album. Right. Cool. And that was really so you big saw the for process. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how patient oh, you yeah. had to be and, and how Right. That it takes work, that it yeah. doesn't happen overnight. Oh, and, and it and takes so patience is the right word. And dude. and like, when I, when so I'm hard. a rapper, like I'm the most delightful rapper to, to, to record. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and as an engineer, no, I'm probably not. the most yeah, I ain't dude. I, I am, to. dude. I bet you are, man. I'm not. I have faith in you. Though. I've never heard nah. you spit any bars ever, dude. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that shit anymore. Dude, since, I rapped. Like, I rapped sober. the other night. I was so sad about my. I think my I've comedy. heard you spit bars, but yeah. I don't think I've heard you ever yeah. spit bars. No, I the, actually saw you I on Jill's the other Facebook. the other night. I bombed, and I yeah. fucking. I was like, I'm just gonna go. Sign yeah, up you for had the opportunity yeah. to get the win that night. Yeah. You had the opportunity to turn an L and do a W. I didn't. I didn't have an instrument with me. I didn't have an instrument with me. Right, but I, I don't rap instrument. either. I play yeah. an instrument. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your instrument is your fucking mind and your mouth. And yeah. Am I la 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 la? So yeah, how did that feel? Bombing for the first time, dude. I'd never seen it before. But you've only this is, it's only times. been two days, guys. <laughs> I know. Okay, it's fresh. I know. Bro, I, I, I th- bombed for the hundredth time, and when I, I'm heartbroken still. <laughs> when I when I used to when I used to lose rap battles, my 
fucking parents. Like I used to still live with my parents. Yeah. Right? They wouldn't talk to me for like two weeks because they were like, <laughs> they were like, because if we say something <laughs> to him, you like, get real yeah, salty. I'm, I'm just real salt on your face. Don't be a salty bitch. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, but but like, yeah, I was, I was that kid. Like, I was no, don't fucking talk to me. Uh huh. But what if I am hungry, dude? I'm <laughs> right, right, right. I was that right. way two days ago. Yeah, I'm still. That, and my girlfriend dude, lives with me. Yeah, my girlfriend. Were you like salty a, after your set? Yeah, dude. I felt like a piece of shit. Well, you bailed early. <laughs> yeah, that's the only because reason. I didn't have but any more set, jokes. Your set was good. No, I, I batted good, like sixty percent. Yeah, but the forty percent well. I didn't get, dude, broke my heart because uh, I didn't. So you're a perfectionist too. Because I couldn't oh, yeah. remember you the punchlines. If I tell a full joke and it doesn't get a laugh, hey, okay, I have a because question. that's not necessarily a, my fault. You know what I mean? I but question, if I don't though. finish a joke, uh-huh. that's all on me. That's all on you. I'm the piece of you're shit. Right. I forgot the funny part. You're right, and just because they don't laugh doesn't mean it's not funny. It means it didn't land that room at that time. Like sometimes it's yeah. like, like your all opener. About, yeah, it's the funniest shit I've ever heard, but nobody was listening yet. Bro, it's okay, bro. But, I bombed because I forgot my my fucking opener. Yeah, I didn't do my opener and like. Welcome I didn't, to the they, club, just Tones. Didn't yeah, do dude. it, dude. You're officially on your way uh, to being a comedian. Yeah, now if you, that you come bombed. back, you're a comic. That's yeah. the. <laughs> Yeah, if you I'm don't, no, if, I'm coming if back. Don't do it, like, I'm coming yeah, back. I know yeah, you will, just, dude. Emma might be one of the truest comics in town because she bombs I, a lot. Hey, dude, and I like, appreciate it. <laughs> I, 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 lo- I gave her a free cat yesterday. I love that girl, bro, because like she's she's so fucking hard on herself, and she you know she deserves, and she still comes back though too, and that's, yeah, but she deserves to be yeah. to, to to be she when she, she that's when she reaches that dude when she gets to where her her set's packed and it's good and when she finds her voice, I'm be like, so proud right, yeah, but, that, like, yeah, yeah, and not specifically talking about Emma, but comics that. They show up, they do sets and stuff, and uh, they're always like, they always are complaining. Oh my god! Uh, you know, so am I but allowed, they're am not I allowed doing to just the work. Talk like here? if they're you're, what? they're, they're not, not doing the work. Like right. if you want, that's what bombing got me. I wrote that night. I wrote the next day. I'm. I wrote this morning. Like, uh. <laughs> I'm not fucking around anymore. Yeah, I'm not you don't gonna want, do that you again. Don't want to catch yourself. No, if yeah. I can Dude. only do it once a week, I'm done with that feeling. Yeah, good. We're coming in hot. Like. Dude, but good. you got to do the, the work. You got the to. song that I play for you is "Bouncing Back" by by Mystical, right? Mm-hmm. And I do that because I've seen you bomb, dude. I and bombed then, hard. Then, but then I've seen you come back and just have like this tremendous yes. fucking Killer set, set. Dude. Because like, nothing feels worse than a bomb. Have I got laid after bombing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> have people bought me drinks after bombing? Yes. Absolutely. Off that one laugh where I was like, "Hey, yeah. fuck you," yeah. and they're like, "Oh, let me buy you a drink." <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's rush. the craziest part about comedy is women were attracted to me after eating shit, just plates yeah. of dicks like and they were just like, <laughs> it, it just depends. on. How, I did my time, though. Yeah, it You've depends on how time. personable you are up on stage. dude. My, you can bomb gracefully. That's the thing. Not like and, you. You're the no, most graceful. bomber. Uh, no, dude, I just you didn't do great on myself. Tuesday. But you talk no. shit to yourself out loud. No, he did great. Actually, I in didn't between did, jokes, did that's the thing good. about no, no, Dave. No, no, no. my jokes kidding. were good. Actually, I know. On I laughed. I laughed. Actually, I, 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 I was listened. trying to roast. I felt so <laughs> bad. I felt so I bad. I listened back to it. Actually. Trevin was like finishing his set, and I, I just heard punk rock in the back, and I was just like, <laughs> I was just like, you know what I mean, like. Yeah. I kind of like music more. Like, yeah. like, but Trevin's fantastic. He's fantastic. Well, that's why we got to stop. Uh, or that's why we got to start the mic hey, before so, seven forty. So that's absolutely, we my, gotta, yeah. my most my most fucking fantastic attribute for comedy is my entrance music for for the comedians. You know that? Yeah. What What do you play for? Uh, what do you play for me? Honestly, bro, like you're an outcast. Some Atlanta shit. Yeah, I, I was about outcast. to say. I, I used to. I like the way you move. That's yours. Okay, yeah, you know I what like I used to come move. up to uh, at at the ranch every week when I hosted was uh, Kryptonite by Big That's Boy, dope. Purple Ribbon All Stars. That's dope. I can do that for you. Yeah, do that, please. Do that That's my yeah, fucking fuck yeah. favorite. That was shit a request. That was a very no, no, it subtle was, request. Actually, hey, no, but you know, I I really I wish I wish more comedians would come come up with me re- with requests. It's just like I don't think comedians think of them. All right, bro. Like I grew up I wanting do. to be a performer. Like yeah. every yeah, fucking day, same, dude. dude. Yes. Every I woke up in the morning, I grabbed my fucking brush, bro. 
That's I why wa- I picked up a I guitar. I walked yeah. to that fucking mirror, bro, and I I sang my heart out. Do you see my hand? And then yeah. when I found out that I couldn't sing that good, I was like, okay, I'm gonna rap now. You know what I mean? I did the same you know fucking I mean? thing. Yeah, dude. I do. I do it still, like all the time. I did the same goddamn thing. Yeah. That's hilarious. You know, you know what? One of my favorite things to do is is to fucking play like a nice rancid album. Yes. Like, and like just play the rancid album. 1998. Oh, bro. Oh. Uh, my favorite one's In Out Comes the Wolves. Like, okay, Wolves. yeah. Dude, that, that's, well, that, that's the album, right? But, like, I'll play that album, bro, and I'll grab the microphone, right? And I'll play Lars Fredrickson. I'll do <laughs> Lars Fredrickson. Yeah, I, fuck I am yeah, Lars, dude. bro. And, like, and I'll get there and I'll do it. And, like, that whole time, I'm believing that I'm in front of 100,000 people. You know Damn what I mean? right. Like, you got to envision it, dude. Bro, if and it's you not can, even my music. You know what if mean? you can yeah. do that, you can do a mic. That's oh, yeah. the thing. I have a hard time. <laughs> envisioning people you know what i mean yeah i feel like you might have a better imagination oh, and maybe more experience in I, front of honestly, more people honestly. i honestly thank my fucking my my high school basketball coach for that shit like he was my high school basketball coach was an asshole bro where you good at basketball in ignatia he's still the coach coach chris yeah but where you good at basketball um were you varsity yeah what yeah great uh senior but I played in Ignacio, bro, and I'm sure like you're yeah. you're dealing with some point res guard, kids, dude. Bro. Res yeah. res basketball yeah, is dealing with some high res level. Res. Wait, no, Ignacio's not fucking the res? around. Ignacio's the rest. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's you land. Southern New Reservation, oh, homie. Shit. But any that's, reservation that's most, basketball that's team. That's the most violent place in Colorado. <laughs> like straight, no, no Pueblo's a close I, second. I don't think you're joking. It just makes yeah. me laugh because I just it's think such of Cali. A small fucking I just town. think of one, Cali and how she'd beat anybody's ass, and yo, it makes sense. Yo, one of the most gangster people I know is a chick, and she's like not very big. Like she's They're like cute ones. and petite, and really? like, she'll stab yeah. you in the face. Does she live in Durango now? Yeah, she lives in Durango. No, I've I fucked can't, girls I'm not like that. Does she, work, does she work where I work? Where do you work? Steam. What's her last name? <laughs> What's her address? What's her address? I'll tell you off stage. I mean, off, off air. Yeah, okay. Because I'm like, because like, because like, I know a I lot of incriminating you... things about this girl. Right, like, well, yeah, we don't have to say girl. those things. Well, That's we should just or not... we can just say all those things and never know. say her name. It's just, it's just these, <laughs> these I like types. I like that idea. I like that idea. What'd a she lot. do? Yeah, what'd she do, bro? <laughs> Stab you in the face? Who did no, she murder? No, not me. Not me. Second, Who? Murder, second degree murder. Well, I've seen her beat. Was it a dude or a chick? The fuck, dudes. I've seen her beat up dudes. Right. Like beat the fuck during the bike rally or no? Oh my god. I mean, like bike rally, off bike rally, whatever. I was there one bike rally as an adult and. We walked between sidekicks and the teepee all night, and I almost died four times. Like, just <laughs> – and that's, like, a modest estimate, you know? Like, From getting run over? No. From guns? Dude, kids, no, there's just kids, interactions. There's, there's Every that's... Everybody you walk by is a threat, like, literally. Oh, hell yeah. Like, no, dude, in, in Ignacio, kids go walking around. They have shotguns in their fucking pants, bro, just down Sorry. their legs, just walking around. Never and heard of a pistol, huh? Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I don't think maybe it's a bigger blast. Well, maybe they're know. a bad aim. Yeah, shotgun will do it. <laughs> I have a shotgun by my bed for that reason. Yeah, if I point it down the hall, you're going to hit something. <laughs> You're but definitely no. gonna clip them. I, I I always thought that was weird, man. Like the the kid the kids where I grew up were a lot different. Like the kids here in Durango are pretty nice. Dude, Durango's yeah. so soft. It took me eight months to calm down from New Mexico, and I was also slinging, and then went to jail, and the fucking you know I was on probation, but still kind of. And you're hanging out with the musicians, so you're hanging out. Not with like- not yet. This oh, was wow. before I moved to Durango. So in Farmington. <laughs> I was slinging, went to jail, and then I was just, like, <coughs> tense. You know what I mean? Like, I was on probation. Literally, the first couple weeks, there was cars following me to the drug tests and shit. Like, 100%. Yeah, same car. weird. Twice a week. Yeah. Same car. Park. Never got Why out. Why would they be following you to the drug test? Because, well, they were kind of just following me because they were trying to get more dirt on me. Even though you're already on, like... Yeah, but they got trial? a minor charge. They saw... I think they thought I was a wilder fish than I was. Oh, okay. Because the Colorado cops were the ones that ended up getting me. Uh Uh-huh. But, yeah, I was selling, like, a lot of weed. And I think they thought I sold a lot of, like, psychedelics and stuff. And I – dude, I was – in two weeks, I might have been. You know what I mean? Like, I was on my way to being that person. And they thought they had that person. Damn, that's like Minority Report type But shit. the person I sold 10 hits of acid to was that, a CI. And yeah. um, 
The only reason I did it is because he wouldn't leave me alone and I got a batch of shitty acid. Cause I was I was buying myself a sheet of acid to like last for the next 10, 15 years. You know what I mean? Just to <laughs> yeah. have. Yeah. Because I thought it was a good deal. Yeah. Like it was a good deal. Yeah, yeah. But this it turned out to be bunk. And this kid just oh. every fucking other day was like, Hey man, you think you could find me any acid? And you, you had no reason to suspect him, huh? No. Yeah. He was selling so I was selling him ounces and he was selling them to my friends at the skate park in Farmington every day. Like people would text me and be like, yo, this strain is fire. Like I knew he was selling weed, you know, people that w- had no reason to like lie to me, you know, just punk ass skate kids. Dude. But yeah. he was the fucking snitch. And Dude, like uh, two years ago, there sold him acid and it was. Yeah, open. no, that's such a fuck. Hundred dollars cost me eleven grand. That's all. Like two years, <laughs> like there's shootings that happen in Nashville all the time, right? But like the only time you ever see it in the newspaper is there was like a kid from Durango went to Nashville to go try to buy drugs, and apparently he tried to rob the drug dealer. That's adorable. Stupid. <laughs> Why the hell would you go there to rob? Well, it's like Dave you know? going to the hood in Atlanta and trying to rob the dude. That, like going, that's exactly what it's like. It's that's fucking like you going to the hill and being like, "Yo, dog, let me let me get a, a gram," and then being like, "Yo, stick up." Like, yeah, you'd, you'd have the whole project just like, <laughs> yeah, they, exactly. Actually, they have a mass text ready I to did, just like yeah. beep, I did. and everybody <laughs> comes out their front door. No, back then they had yeah. whistles. You know right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Put shit. Snaps, yeah. clicks. They had a lot uh, of stuff. This dude, Red didn't, shit. the dude that I tried to do that to, didn't even need any of that. He just straight up dove into my window that I left open <laughs> for some reason after I tried, uh, and true. he put a gun to my head, and that wasn't fun. I didn't, didn't get you give anything. him fake money. Yep. <laughs> And that's on you bro <laughs> I know, oh yeah i know i was strung out dude like and i was yeah you had a better Wait, chance I, giving that to a re- cop you're, re- you're a recovering addict uh-huh really yeah you didn't wow. know this no oh yes I tones am. doesn't listen to the podcast I mean, that's I cool i listen to the podcast <laughs> but like i mean i listen to the podcast right. but, there's know. a story every goddamn shit just but like, dude, yeah. you, like i'll just talk I, I got a lot of stories my, yeah. da- my daily life is me making music and like half li- half listening to everything else fair yeah. enough what are you recovering are you recovering? No, no, no. Oh, no. Sorry, oh, okay. I thought no, that's what you're doing. Yeah. yeah, I am. I still drink and I smoke a lot of weed, but that's but yeah, it's in kratom. But I, I don't do. And I, yeah, absolutely. Big dude. advocate. Big advocate. Bad timing. What'd you do? Well, I was a heroin addict. Dude. Oh, uh, big yeah. H. Okay. Yeah, for the like, ATL for life, about, like four or five years, and then I that's also rough. yeah, I also other, a lot of other yeah, drugs, and uh, I've never even seen heroin. Dave used to sell oh, cocaine. Man. I mean, I sold a lot of things. I yeah, mean, I mean, mostly pills. Most of his stories involve pills. To be fair, I've yeah. heard like at least so four many. different, five different Bro, police when, interaction stories. Bro, yeah. When I was when I was nineteen, Maybe. they arrested me on like I was drinking a beer at my friend's house. It was like, my first beer. Yeah, I got first an MIP. Beer. Damn, that's like getting a girl pregnant the first time. Yeah, no, nah, dude. Well, I got an MIP on like my first time being in a car with alcohol. Too. Yeah, and like, well, my first. But he was in a first, house. I, I oh, say, oh, I say oh. it's my first beer though. Well, yeah. I was outside of the house to be fair, but I say it's my first beer because I drank property, like though. I drank like that before. You know like what? I mean? It was. But like, had, yeah, and then I had like. Your first. I think it was beer. this. I think it was pinstripe. Pinstripe's dude. delicious. Yeah, and then I'm just trying to be cognizant. Yeah, no. I didn't just start drinking, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> no, but That's like, why you uh, stick with the Bud Light, right? Exactly. That what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. But no, uh, and then like they threw me into the immigration pod in, in Ignacio, bro. And I was oh, like, shit. why the fuck are you guys throwing me in the immigration pod? Because you're three quarters Mexican. I guess so. My name's Antonio Herrera. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, like, that's immigration. Yeah. Yep. Bummer, like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're anyway, straight dude. Ignacio. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah right. If you told me that, I'd be like, yeah, he was definitely from here. Yeah, <laughs> That's not a Ignacio. terrible thing. I love people in Ignacio. I've fucked girls that worked at the patio. You know I've what I mean? I've never been wow. there. And yeah, I bro. That's trashy, and I'm from Ignacio. Come at me, son. <laughs> Come at me. Dude, he's from Farmington. It's not like it's that much of an upgrade. That's fair. It's almost worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I've never San, been to whenever, Ignacio, Okay, I was but... telling him that I lived in Aztec for five years, bro. Whenever I went to school there, the in sex ed. You went every to school year. in Aztec? Yeah, for five years. What? what Eleven grade? to sixteen. Like Eleven my my good, attention, all son. my all my fucking. Just well, you, he was out. He was out. Oh, but, um, okay. Uh, to bad. refresh you, I like, yeah, I, don't remember this. I moved. Sorry. I moved there so when sorry. I was eleven years old. My right. mom, my mom helped build uh, Sunray Casino. It's you know super I mean? affordable. 
Yeah, it, it, it was yeah. cool. Like we had a nice house and shit. Like it was uh, no, it was and like, it's a retirement community, basically. Dude, to be honest, so it's really actually decent. To be honest with you, you know how you <laughs> felt whenever you moved here and you had to calm down. Uh-huh. That's how I felt when I moved from Ignacio and went to. No, Aztec. it's basically a yeah, retirement community. Yeah, like, yeah, they got one, and bro, they got asshole shot. kids bro, that are real to, good at football and wrestling. I went but, to, I went to, yeah, wrestling is a huge thing in Aztec. But like, I fucking, fucked them all up, Toads. <laughs> Wow. You wrestled in high school? Goddamn right, Can't I did. Tell? <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I see it, dude. Just kidding. I see you wearing the uniform and singlet. No, nah, dude. No, but, I look good. My but, dick yeah, dude, going, but I look good. <laughs> going to school from Ignacio, bro. In Ignacio, I graduated with like maybe four or four or five white people. Like, uh, you know what I mean, just nothing but. Re- I like went to Kirtland. Uh, yeah. There was probably twenty. But I went from <laughs> twenty there, white people. I went from grand. there wow. moving to Aztec, New Mexico, uh-huh. and like everybody was white. Right. I, I hung out with the Navajo kids. Wait, in Aztec, everybody yeah. was white? I hung yeah, out with the Navajo. Everybody. It was weird, dude. But in Colorado, they were all native? Yeah. Well, weird. in Ignacio, weird. it's southern Ute land he came from, and then yeah. he went to a retirement no, get, community. Uh, no, check it out. They call it. They, call it white people they used to call it a tri-ethnic community, but if you looked on the tri-ethnic sign, it was never brown, brown, native, and then white. It was always brown, native, and black. <laughs> Always, bro. Yeah, because yeah, I grew yeah, up yeah. with a lot of black people. The Taylors, really? that's yeah, the Taylors is a big family over there. There's a lot huh, of black the people. The Taylors, in. yeah. If you look, if you look up the history, John Henry Taylor, he was a, a black man who moved over here after. Uh, he was a, he was a buffalo. He's got a, he's got a lot of ancestors. Yeah, he here. was a buffalo soldier, and they and they stationed him. Oh my him, god! They so stationed many. here at Fort Lewis. Hmm. That's that's one of my yes. best. One of my friends growing up, my friend Isaiah. That's his grandfather. Dude, really? Yeah. Callie just posted something about yeah, yeah, that yeah, guy, yeah, and yeah. I I started reading that article, but I was just taking the shit at work. So shout out to Ignatius. Yeah. yeah, that's bo- yeah. that's badass. John Henry Taylor is his Henry name. Taylor. Yeah, that's yeah. Shout Senior. Out. Shout out to the Taylors of Ignacio. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I All drive them. through my, there my, every day. Don't I, I call this I call this dude my <laughs> uncle. Uh, his name is Buddy Ray Taylor. I grew up right next to him. Uh, he's my brother's age, but I call him my uncle because he used to live with my grandma in you know, a reservation. Uh-huh. Buddy Ray. That sounds... Buddy Ray Henry Frederick Taylor Jr. Sounds Does like... he play an instrument? Banjo. I don't know. Hmm. That's a negative. I'm not sure. I'm sure yeah. he can So not well. I'm sure he can carry a tune. Well, yeah. Why? Just because he's black? Or natives. No, you can carry a beat. Yeah. Bro, natives got rhythm. Yeah. That, it's known. Yeah. <laughs> they dance like a motherfucker. They're Ice great dance. at basketball. Yeah. That's sort of the rain variety. Mm. Yeah. That, we don't we don't rain dance. We sun dance though. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Do we you? sun dance. Hell yeah. Yeah, that yeah. I'm actually. <laughs> yeah, I, have, they, yeah. I, I like to dance when it's hot as fuck outside. Yeah, yeah. four so. days four days yeah. without su- without food or water. That's what yeah. you got to do to get yeah. the sun out? Well, that's what you got to do to sundown. So you're, well, what it used to be back in the day is like... Fast would, for four days? Well, we used to sacrifice some people, and we used to put them on the top of the post. Wait, did you say f- no food or water? Or water. I thought you... It's like Ramadan, but four days. Yeah, but water's the key, though. In, like, in, that's the hard part. In July. Oh, my God. No, if you don't suffer, I mean... In July. What are you doing? In, like, the hot ass part of july and it's dry wow. heat that's a dry I, heat. I, have, yeah. I have to do that next have you year, done bro. it i have to do it next year it's gonna be my first time I'm really scared what is it like a ceremony that you're going to yeah, or something yeah, so you yeah, should with your scared, family bro. or you should or prepare yeah, for this like crazy, an ayahuasca bro. ceremony uh, I don't you know. should like like that pay attention actually, to your diet and like I have what your to, body's yeah, burning off to. of and because so yeah, I so people to. prepare for that, right? Oh, physically. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, fuck yeah. That just seems like you should eat a lot of fats and shit before that. Oh for like yeah, three man. months. Store that. That's shit. what yeah. y'all do. Yeah, yeah. and like um, avocado fats. Oh, dude, animal I love fat. Avocado. Wow. Oh, so no that. food, no water, four days, and then you actually do a physical dance or no? Is yeah, it? you get up and dance. You yeah. blow a whistle. There's drummers. Blow the whistle. Yeah, the blow too whistle. short. That's I'd prefer to be the prefer to be the drummer. Yeah, I was. I. I mean, I. Have I drummed at Sundown? I'm not sure if I drummed at Sundown. How? And I how drum long, everywhere. How I long used to do drum you dance? Everywhere. Four days. You dance for four well, days. Not, not straight. It's like an ultra like, marathon, dog. It, <laughs> it's like it's like it's like two hundred miles. When you, feel What's the, up? when you feel the spirit calling you, sure you get up and dance. Okay. It is yeah. Pe- is pe- and this is an honest question. Is peyote a part of that? No. No. Dr- Have no you ever drogas? done peyote? Uh, yeah. Is it good? 
Have you done a sweat lodge? Or like oh, a yeah. Does it really? make you throw up and then it kick in? Is it like yeah. ayahuasca in that? I manner? got invited to one recently oh, in man. Cuba, New Mexico. Oh, those are good ones. Yeah, I got the homies. Oh, you're serious? Or I got a real good homie out there. Yeah, look for the Apaches, the Hickory Apaches especially. Yeah, they it's have great. Stuff. That's you know what, what it is. To look for? It's the Hickory yeah. Apaches for sure. But it Dude, Yeah, I, I got a good shrooms. homie would, out there. I don't do shrooms, but I know where to find them. Around here? Yeah, yeah Colorado we'll t- Gold Caps, man. All right, we'll talk. They're famous. Shit. They're famous, bro. Yeah, we can't I, talk I, about I this on the podcast. Tones? Oh. I literally... Well, we it, can. We just can't make a transaction. Isn't it? It's legal It's on the decriminalized. Res, it? Oh, yeah. In We're going to do it on the res. Go yeah. fuck yourself. Because I'm Native American, I can be like I'm using it for like medicinal Yeah, and we're purposes. guests. What's up? I had a dream last night that I was tripping on mushrooms. And Shania Twain was and in the background. <laughs> Maybe that's Sorry. why it was stuck in my head. I don't know. No, but like it was, uh, I literally woke up and said out loud, "That was fun." Nice. Like I had that's a, a good dream. It was the best dream I've had in a long time, man. Because like most of them are pretty dark, and hey, this I, was just a I, fun I, tripping I have, dream. I just dude. have to mention this. Every time I see Dave, he has like a dope fucking shirt. No, <laughs> that's his. Yeah, he wears that a I'm lot like, for the podcast. I'm but like, I think it's just because he likes it. And I actually wore this today just from, because a hip hop guy was gonna be here. Yeah, mm. hell yeah, I respect it. Yeah, straight up. I'm just wearing this because it was clean, dude. Dude, that, <laughs> that was hot. Zach Abeda from from Albuquerque. Yeah, right? Fresh to I death. was so happy whenever Podcast whenever alumni. I DJed for him because I, oh. I it, it just happened to be that A I B-boy. played I played yeah. fucking uh I played set it off by Big Daddy came for him. Oh no! And shit. he walked up and he started doing the Jenga, bro. And I was like, dude, like. Yeah. Ah, this dude's a break dancer. Like, this is sick. Dude, like, he's good. Sick. He teaches yeah. kids how to yeah, break no, dance and shit. I friended him He's after a cool that. motherfucker, he's, dude. Yeah. He's on, he, I'm on a snap Instagram all day. Nice. You should listen nice. to the podcast. I sounded super awkward. Yeah. <laughs> was it just you and him or are you feeling him? Me feeling him. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. But the first comment Wait, I got it, about it was. Was it, was it Dave. you feeling him or. <laughs> Me, Phil. That and was a him. silly Mexican joke. Yeah, but Phil. Or Dave. The next day was like, yeah, I listened oh, to the sorry, podcast buddy. of Zach Abeda. That one made you look gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fair enough. Yeah, but to be fair, that dude, that dude <laughs> does some pretty, pretty fruity shit yeah. too. Like, like he gets into his. You hear that, Zach Abeda? No, I love you. I love he you. He probably though. doesn't hear it because he's Tom probably just not listening. You gay. I didn't call him gay. I said fruity. <laughs> I'm gonna tag him. Uh, like, but you know, like all of us hip hop people are pretty eccentric. You know what I mean? Like. Dude, entertainers, you have to be willing to be silly. Bro, like, I whatever pl- your brand of silly is. I, I'm, I played a gay dude in a play in high school. I would love to. You know what I mean? I, just, I, I play yeah, a gay dude on stage to. three nights a week for eight months. Dude, that <laughs> joke that joke that you that you say where like I know I know what a dick tastes like. Yeah, like yeah. That's one of my oh, favorite yeah. jokes. It <laughs> that is a true say. story. That was not a woman. Correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you guys want to take a quick break? Yeah, sure. Dude. We're a long one. It doesn't matter to the listeners. It's going to be the same amount of time for them. All right. Well, we got a new track from Ethan Esparza, which we're playing for this. So uh, enjoy a little music from my boy Trip. Yeah. I can get that to not fucking. Go. No, I like it. I love it. No, it starts Dave off. He always drums. It's fun. Yep, and then <laughs> I'm just in the mood. It's like the Manchurian Candidate. I just hear. It's, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. And then yeah. I turn on. <laughs> I hypnotized Dave <laughs> yep. when he was drunk one night, uh-huh. and now when those four clicks happen, <laughs> he's on. I can't help it. If we could do that before his comedy sets, he might actually kill one day. Dude, we need a metronome at the comedy shows. That would be interesting. No, it wouldn't. Hey, if you guys get like mad famous, I'm touring with you guys, and I'm going to DJ. Right? Obviously. You're our DJ, No, we're dude. going straight Russell Peters on this shit. Yeah, if you... I could have my own DJ. Hey. Dude, hey, we do. Well, that, us? On that note, Russell Peters is the reason why I became a DJ the way that I am. Interesting. No shit. Yeah, yeah. he's a good DJ. Because you said you were into yeah. comedy, right? Did you find I'm him? I'm huge into comedy. Which right? way did you find him? Comedy or DJing? Com- 
Oh, okay. Comedy, big time. Right. Big yeah. Time. And then okay. he talks about DJs all the time. Well, he is yeah. a DJ. Well, yeah. and he bring he brought DJ Scratch on. All, to yeah, exactly. Yeah. I use I use Russell Peters in my scratch routine. Oh, sick. Oh, nice. Man. Where, that part where he says, you know, you better be DJing with your dick right now. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's my favorite. It's fight. a hotness. And then and then I drop Boondocks. So I have to. Ah, 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 tr- ah, you know, I'm d- for you guys that that are are watching. I'm a nasty DJ when I have my big my big setup. My little setup I do with good mixing. But you got your little one today? Got my little one. I'm going to do some mixing one. for y'all today la- later on. But yeah. Not, uh, do, okay, so when I f- uh, found Russell Peters, uh, <laughs> I watched him as a comedian. He does talk about being a DJ, but I didn't really take it like seriously. Like, right. You know, I mean, as a hip-hopper, you don't listen to anybody saying that they're dope anything. Mm-hmm. It's like, we're hip-hoppers. We're all dope. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's why nobody prove believes it. what you just prove said. Prove it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> prove it. That's how com- so, <laughs> comedians feel as well. Exactly. If yeah, somebody yeah. comes in hot, it's like, we'll see. Yeah. Like, Dude, no, you know, it w- what's so funny is like whenever I, I did my first set for comedy, I can't, I came to uh, open mic night, laugh therapy and like. It's the best place to start. Yeah. Well, and uh, Ryan MC was like, hey, there's a slot open. And I was just like sitting there and I was like, I don't do comedy. <laughs> I just don't. I don't do it. Like. And he's like, but do you have jokes? And I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. I've written a few. You know what I yeah. mean? Because well, after watching you guys, like, I kind of. You know. No, That's totally. Cool, if man. you're around yeah. comedy. I liked you guys. It took me a year from when I wanted to start comedy, when I started the podcast. It took me a full year to actually start comedy. Yeah. Like, well, I kind of started the podcast to get the balls to talk into a well, microphone. Com- comedy's always been a big a big part of my life, man. Like, yeah. My mom's a huge uh, a huge fan of, of comedy. Like That's cool. Uh, my first comedy show was Sinbad. Nice. nice. You know what I mean? I got I to see Sinbad's Sinbad. dope live. Yeah, he's hilarious. He's Killed, uh, and murdered, legendary. Yeah, legendary. I mean, and he's fantastic. And I, um, my sister was with us. Like it was like a whole like family thing. We, right. it was kind of cool. My mom took us to that and Amazing Jonathan in the same fucking. Oh place. wow! So it was kind of dope. I got to see two people that really performed. Where well. was this? Las Vegas. Okay. You know what I mean? The the Orleans for Sinbad and uh, the Sahara. I think. I think okay. Amazing Jonathan was at yeah. the Sahara for like ten years or something like that. Yeah. But, killer bro in fact you know that thing at the beginning where he's making fun of people uh-huh. he put me and my sister on the video oh cool and man. and it was funny it was my sister and it says um he's hung like a tic tac and she needs a breath mint <laughs> <laughs> i was i was like just sitting there like but that's my fucking sister and like, uh, we're not even like we're not even supposed to be in the show that's hilarious like, though. We're, not, we're not even old enough to be in this motherfucker dude. that's like, funny <laughs> bro but that's fun <laughs> That's funny, and that like, shit you could get away with then. Oh, uh, dude! Like whenever, whenever he was like, uh, "Oh yeah, now you can't get away with that mm-hmm. shit. Now you need your ID. You need the yeah. proof of your you ticket." Get sued for that. Yeah. yeah, nah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, it's rough. Anyway, but I remember going into uh, the Amazing Jonathan show and just laughing my fucking face off. And, and you know, I knew who Amazing Jonathan was because my mom watched him on right. the Comedy Central specials and this and that. And I thought, oh, he's just a silly fucking magician. But when I saw his his stage performance live, I was like, "Oh, I get it, I get it." Yeah, he's he's taking control of the crowd. That's right? most comics. I was already an MC by then. You, like comics you don't like on Netflix or anywhere. If you saw him live, oh, it'd not, probably be different. That's the reason I'm not they saying got that there. I didn't like him though, because the, no, no, like, no, no, his no. jokes but, were fucking fantastic. Right, but <laughs> even if you're like medium on a comic, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. see him live, you probably would love him. I went like, there's a reason him. they are yeah. where they are. You know what I mean? No, I saw, like, I, they can kill. I went, I went yeah. back to school and I was like, "Yo, y'all need to check out Amazing Jonathan. Like right. this motherfucker is a killer. Like, like he'll have you rolling your fucking." Your Did you see that documentary? about him uh, about him like yeah you know, on hulu yeah yeah on hulu faking his death and shit who did that the amazing john amazing no john. who did the doc uh what wasn't was it a comic name? oh i don't no let me no he was a documentarian know. i don't know Here, let me, i heard let me him on podcast but amazing i, I thought he was a comic i don't know john it doesn't really matter i don't i don't think you i think he was just a uh, but live comedy especially as a kid is fucking it's just crazy to it's realize that somebody can have that effect on people just talking. Yeah. Just with Not, the You know what I mean? Yeah. It That's a, how I felt when I first started watching yeah. comedy. I was just yeah, like, th- wow. But th- this, dude had, this dude had an assistant. You feel me? Yeah. Like, and, and she killed, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and like, she was a really good assistant. Like, Amazing Jonathan had a, a just the, the best show that I had seen as a comedian. But it was a show. A lot of drugs. Yeah, a lot just of drugs. So many drugs. Yeah. And that's what we were just about to talk Very about. Very open yeah. about it. But it was uh, what, Ben Berman. Right, oh. Ben Berman. Oh. That's who did. That's who wait. did. Wait, 
What? Yeah, Ben Berman. Oh, I know. Yeah. I heard him. Click, click on his name. Well, there was a. I, 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 I So there was a famous comic that was involved with connecting. Oh, I'm the sure. The guy that it. made it with the amazing Jonathan. I can't remember what comic it is, I'm but sure. he was on a bunch of podcasts promoting it. It was like one of the big ones. He's probably involved in charities and stuff. Sure God, wasn't dude, I have no idea. Sure wasn't Joe Rogan. It wasn't Rogan. No, nah, it was somebody else. I know Joe Rogan was a fan of him. It wasn't you know? Joe Coy. It was one of the Dude, on that note, Joe comics. Coy's new shit. Do you guys have you guys watched the I new watched one? I watched it, it. Dude. Yeah. Have you guys watched the one with all the Filipino yep. kids and stuff? Yeah, yeah I watched, I watched yeah, it. Yeah, that was one. good. Like those Filipino people are pretty fucking funny. I yeah, thought, I watched I thought, the whole thing. I thought his comedy was funny, but I also I liked the fact that he brought up like I didn't really care for the dancing segment, but honestly, like all the comics that I didn't he brought hold up. Hold on, PSA. Hip hop, stop using flutes on break beats. It's yeah. whack. Bro, yeah, yeah hip hop. The hottest bitch is playing flutes in the band. Like, let's nah, be I'm, honest. I'm going to be real with you, though. In hip-hop, nobody likes flutes. <laughs> Sorry, Russ. You're damn Filipinos right, do. I'm, I'm, it's I'm a you woodwind know, you know, country, I'm, bro. I'm Native American, name bro. The one, That's na- where woodwinds... Name Native the one American. producer that can get away with it. Kanye? No. <laughs> testing you, son. There's a couple. Name one. DJ Premier, for one. I thought about him, too, but I was thinking RZA. RZA, RZA can do RZA, it. RZA, he yeah, but it's that Asian shit. That's what I'm saying. That's the Filipino, RZA, bro. But, but, that, but they love that shit. All right, you have to understand. There, there's, there's, there's <laughs> the levels of this it. rap shit. There's rebel, levels of this hip hop shit. You feel me? Like, like I'm good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and I know how to do this stuff, and I'm a, I'm a great performer live. But like, as far as making sounds and recording shit, RZA had something right. Uh huh. No, know I, what the fuck nobody's arguing with you. No, oh yeah, no, yeah. no, nobody will. Nobody, nobody will. Yeah, no, nobody can't. will. You can't. Yeah, nobody will. I mean, my brother will, but I've, but that's because he, he's. A I good, don't like him already. Person, yeah. I like you would actually like him. Well, <laughs> if you hate the RZA, if you can't, if he doesn't hate the RZA per se. Okay, not per se. So Did you watch that Wu Tang show? Oh, I loved it. It was great. I loved it. I know most of it wasn't real, but. I know. I know. Hey, listen to the Wu Tang. You'll hear the story. If you yeah. listen to him deep enough, you know the story. I know, I know that the opening where Raekwon shot that ghost face, that was mad real. Mm-hmm. That was mad real. That's on, that's on wax. They've talked about that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, I yeah. And and RZA catching a charge for uh, for shooting somebody. That's that's real too. There was a few things in there that I like. I looked up to see if they were, excuse me, were like were like based on real life. Yeah, and, yeah. and a few of the things I looked up were just you know fictional. Or yeah. whatever, but some of the shit I was like, holy shit, that really He happened. thought he was Polish then, so <laughs> don't trust his research. That's all I'm saying. What yeah, are that you? was a good one, bro. What are you? I know. I'm I've heard I'm you, like I've... just European. Yeah. European. Yeah, like I mean a quarter Irish, quarter English, quarter French, quarter German. Oh, well, when I when Stupid. I first when I first started going to school, I went to, to school to be uh, a historian. And so I learned I love a lot. History, dude. When was this? That's that my stuff. favorite subject, dude. Uh, I started in two thousand fourteen. Yeah, I actually I started Where doing at? that here at uh, PCC. PCC. Yeah, Pueblo Community College. I went to Fort Lewis after a while too. So Where? you were, you were a history major. No, I was, and then I t- I'm, I'm I want to be a mortician now. What yeah. now? Yeah. Damn, son. Have You're you an entertainer, the, stick to hip hop. Have you bro. seen the figures? Have you seen the figures? Yeah, I though? have, dude. I know people that were morticians. I worked at a. Funeral hey, no, home. but that's a that's a backup plan. You know what I mean? Uh, Every smart right. man has a black a backup plan. S- my yeah. backup plan will be scrambling to make a dollar. I'm. Do you cool know how that. many backup? Plan- <laughs> my backup plan. Do you know how many backup plan- We're good. Do you yeah. know how many backup plans I have though? Like my main plan is to be a DMC DJ champion. No, but yeah, when it, fuck yeah, look at the figures. I get what you're saying. Yeah. You got you have a solid backup plan, and it's not oh, that yeah. hard to make well, and, happen. And me and uh, and Hood Mortuary, we're really good friends. You know? Dude, my brother-in-law. Why Kat- are you murder people? No, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> it's just uh, you know, growing up in Nashville, there's a lot of death. So right, you just you tend you tend to make get to know people. Hey, you you see who's making jokes at the funeral and you, you know what I mean. And then you go walk towards. Yeah, that you see funeral. enough yeah. death, you gotta lighten the mood. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know? Dude, uh, Cat's brother used to be the guy that picked up the dead bodies with like, hospice and Ugh. and drive it to the mortician. Yeah, dude. And like, I, mean, he I did would, that. He would have like, really, yeah, yeah. Dude. like loading up the yeah. dead bodies, like suicide, like shot yeah. through the head or whatever yep, it was. Like, I saw body bags. Yeah, this yeah. guy. Put I didn't. The, I didn't guy, see bodies. Her brother put the That's bodies. Nice, though. Yeah. Put the yeah. bodies into the bags and then transfer. Like he yeah. had to deal with the physical bodies and. 
bro. On and the, dude, like some of his stories made real, me want to gag. I've dude. seen a lot of I've seen a lot of dead bodies in my life, man. You know what I mean? Just to, to being from where I'm from, like you know, uh, it, drunk people would fall asleep in the winter time. You'd be walking to school. Yeah. And dude's dead. You're, you know right. I mean? And with, there was no cell phones then, so you couldn't call him in right away. Like I'd walk all the way to school and be like, and I was a good kid. Right. Like uh-huh. when I was a kid, I was a good kid. Like uh-huh. I, I didn't. I, I mean, I was wild, but I mean, what do you expect from? You're just experiment. You were a res life. dog, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> but like, no, I was a good kid though. Like if if I saw something out of whack, I would I'd tell somebody like, right. yo, something's out of whack. Like I don't know who did it, but like they need to take care of it. So like I I remember like being seven years old walking to school and seeing a dead body it was pretty crazy damn yeah but you know like just the, like a homeless dude yeah 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 and you know like you don't like i, I didn't growing up in that in that area you don't think twice about it. like it's right. whatever that happens like you hear no, about i feel it. like i've seen that but i didn't walk as much i was i was in a more spread out oh yeah situation no, no, no. you know what i mean no, i grew up like like right on, like when the town was ending i was like right there right you know what i mean so i was able to walk to the stores and my grandma lives lives on my my Mexican grandma, bro. You right. know what I mean? Uh-huh. Lives on the very opposite side of the same hill that I live on, but it's a mile away. And the mean? only way up is yeah, and it's only a mile long. The town of Ignacio yeah. is only a mile long. And the only way up is the way. No, I would I would be able to go wherever the fuck I wanted. I, we we built trails, man. Yeah. yeah, we built trails, but That's I mean, fair. we would walk everywhere. I bet her house is better to walk from. I've, I mean, her house is in. Uh, I loved her house. Yeah. Uh, that was my safe. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a I, weird childhood? Uh, my mom was a little aggressive. I mean, uh, my, my my pops is dead. Yeah. You know what I mean, and I, I I hate talking bad about him, but like, no, nah, I was abu- I was an abused child. Yeah. You know what I mean, and it was pretty rough, but by your dad? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Physically. I mean, my mom, like, yeah, physically. When did he yeah, die? Uh, about two years ago. Oh, oh shit. damn, son. Yeah, no, and that was probably the. So roughest. he was around your whole childhood. Yeah, he was. He was around. Like that's cool, and that's what I give him props for. What did he? I mean? What did he like? What did he uh, like hit you for? Like for grades or for just acting um, up or talking back? I mean, it, it evolved. All of that. It evolved into grades. Really? Uh, I mean, I'm light skinned oh. so at the be- at the beginning, so he, he thought, yeah, you. he just thought that I wasn't his kid. At no first, shit. You know? So I was always raised different. But then whenever whenever I was a teenager, he found out that I was his athlete, and <laughs> shit changed. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, but uh, on the real though, I mean, a lot. I have to I have to give my pops a lot of credit though, man. Like so he was around. He was there, and I mean, like, what do you do for? Do you think I'd like hot? Like he he was my competitive side. Right. I right. wouldn't. I wouldn't. To, you wouldn't be you. I wouldn't be able to hop into comedy the way that I did. Dude, you got to be a little yeah. competitive. Well, and just it, confident. It wasn't. It wasn't like people were like were like nudging me to do comedy or like, hey, you should do it. Hey, to me, it came it. out of nowhere. It you yeah, you it signed it up, out of came nowhere. out of nowhere. I, I expected it any day. <laughs> Honestly, I never thought about it. Well, man. I've talked but to you, Tones. but you've hung out with yeah. me. Though. You, yeah, you've you come t- by the house. You've and talked hung out about with me. doing a set. Like this like, is the most I've ever talked to Dave. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, interesting. Yeah. Ever. Like, uh-huh. I well, just I just have, expect that everybody talked to you like I did because the first time no, I did no, the, a set, the, the, you the came most, up to me and you were I, like, the most "What I, do you want for an interest?" <laughs> yeah, the, uh, you know the most I well I, I asked Dave the same thing, right. but he just asked me. He just told me something in Atlanta. I was like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. yeah. The enough. way you the way you moves my favorite song by <laughs> my right. Outkast. Great song. <laughs> if you say something like that, yeah, and also a great song. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah, song. and I love your intro song. Oh, and a fucking uh, what's his name? That loud motherfucker. Jason Montfort. No, Trevin. no, 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 no. The the louder guy. J Dream. No, he's half Navajo, half white. Josh Josh. Joshua. Yeah, yeah, my boy. I'm sorry for forgetting your name, bro. Dude, they like, sponsor the podcast humans. tones. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Deadroom comedy. Hey, no, bro. but I've I've hung out with him. Yeah. Like me and him, like we're Josh natives. is awesome. We're natives, bro. So like like we leave like the 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 comedy spot, right? And then we go to the next bar. Like, huh. you know, that's just yeah. it's like we we just, you know. We just gravitate Cross towards paths, each other, you yeah. know. What I mean? uh, and then I met his mom's, like rest in peace. I met his mom's. Yeah. You know Dude, what I mean? Me and his mom have drank more beers together oh my than God. any other older lady she that got, I'm not related yeah. she to. She got she got mad right at now. me because because when when we were drinking uh, together, me, him, and Josh, I put my card right to the bartender and i pushed it and i was like nobody's paying for this shit yeah. uh, this is my this is my tab and she was like hey you don't do that to an elderly native lady i was like i know 
Okay. <laughs> and I'm just saying, like, nah. No. We had can. the opposite experience. I think I bought her about seven drinks, and she bought me one, and she yeah. was like, "We're even." <laughs> I was hey, like, cool. Hey, but on the real, <laughs> we're though, good. On the real, though, I'm native, and I know native people, especially elderly native people, and I that probably was just for show. <laughs> you no, know what I mean? Hundred <laughs> percent. That's what I'm saying. I know elderly native people too. Yeah. I've had shitty mutton, and I've had good mutton. Oh my god. And the good mutton came from the elderly native people. Bro, bro, I, I, I. <laughs> I, okay, so this is this is the first time I, I've had something gluten in a while. Um, I, I've been on a diet. Uh, yeah, I've lost a lot of weight. You know what I mean, like forty something pounds or something. Have like you that. really? Yeah. I don't remember you being that big, son. Well, I I've been on this diet for a while. I lost since forty I known pounds. You? Yeah, yeah. Since okay. I know. Yeah, right. So, so like, uh, you know, it, it's pretty cool stuff. I hate vibrations on the phone, but like, you know, um, what was I talking about? Mutton. Losing forty pounds. I miss fry bread. Uh, bro, Gluten. I miss fry bread, and miss I'm not even bread. on a diet. I'm just I've not on the road. I've never had it, dude. I've never had it, dude. We can we can make that happen. I will fucking break my <laughs> where, diet. I mean, to just fry bread. where like go to the four corners. No, we'll just go to my dad's. My, yeah, my little oh. cousin in Nashville my dad makes lives in, really good fry bread. Oh, yeah? I bet. Yeah, yeah my dad really lives in Waterflow. Bread. There's fry bread there everywhere. So. Yeah, dude. On the side of the road. No, you don't got to go that way. Like, no. what is it exactly? Is it a sweet thing? No. Is it like a... Yeah, well, you put you honey... Soap up here? Was that? Yeah, soap here? It's a big fucking soap up here. Okay. Or yeah. boniado. Is it? But right. they don't cook it like... They don't deep fry it. They cook it on it's a like pan a pe- in it- oil. Like a wok kind of situation. About 500 degrees. Is it degrees. like pita bread? Nah, it's like soap up here, bro. Yeah, it, it's, it's like a big it's like soap, a big soap okay, okay. for sure. Okay. It's fluffy... It's so goddamn good. Then you put okay. honey and powdered sugar on it, and, and that's that's if you're still a kid. Whoa! <laughs> you don't when, put when you, any like. No, when you, you can, grow up, when you grow you up, put you meat put meat on it. I was gonna know. say you don't put any yeah. meat in no, it. Oh, Navajo dude, taco, yeah. Navajo uh, taco, fry that's bread. That's what a Navajo yeah. taco hey, is. Vato. Oh, I've never had that either. Fry oh, bread burgers. It. Fry bread burgers oh. are the jam. I worked like, at a Mexican restaurant that served sauce? fry bread burgers. <laughs> Yo. Did you really? Kitchen to kitchen? Nah, and yeah. on the corner that of the rest. That sounds so good right you now. You can get a Navajo taco at Kitchen to Kitchen. It's not that good, really? but it's it's like a good nah, introduction. Nah, fuck all that. Get a good one. Where should we go? We'll go to Dulce, New Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah. All right. Well, Farmington has a place called Los Rios. But you, we got we to gotta go well, to the real thing. Well, that's more Mexican. If we're, it's his yeah, first thing. Yeah. Well, he has to have the real thing. Well, we can go to the res. Let's go to the res. Yeah, let's go one I'll off take the you. side of the road. That's, yeah, the, I'll take you. that's the one I'm, I want. Dude, I'm known, I'm known res to res, bro. I'll take you. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, yeah. It's tones, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> Yo, I'm known from Cali, Cali to New York, from Canada to Mexico. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but all right. Uh, on well, the reses. one, <laughs> yeah, one line across these places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey, yeah, don't yeah. forget, what? in 2014, I won a Native American Music Award. You God know, with the right, you Council, did tons. You know what I mean? This is it like yeah, the yeah. Grammy for natives. Yeah, yeah. It, nah, it, yeah. Grammy makes the award. Yeah. What? Yeah. What right, was that right for out exactly? Of here in Colorado for best for? Uh, hip hop and rap album. Really yeah. good for you, man. That's yeah. fucking yeah. badass. Did, is that online? I had Snoop Dogg. Ti, yeah. Uh, look it up. Uh, it's uh, the Council One Tribe One Nation. Ti. Did you get some cheddar? I mean, or you know what? You guys doesn't might, work for three years. No, Dave. you know what? You guys are my fucking friends. I'll tell. I'll I'll spill this shit on your guys' stuff. Let's do All it. Right. Yeah. All right. My record label that I got signed to at first was they were dogs, man. Dog. They yeah. were dogs. Like we we've sold we it's sold over 50, 50 something thousand records or something like that. I probably sold like two hundred dollars. Yeah. You know, if the money that I saw, I sold I sold my my albums. Yeah. I I ended up I started buying my own CDs. Son and about your trunk and CDs. shit, you know. And I'm not going to talk about who the people are because I love them as as human beings. Yeah. But you know, I, I'm a you kid. I have a hard Got time fucked. hating people. You know? Maybe you shouldn't love those guys. But I have a hard time hating these people. You know what I mean? And I just I, I don't just, let them fucking fuck you. Dude. But I don't let them fuck me. Definitely well, not. Definitely not. Well, not, you learned not. a lesson. But I don't, at the I mean, time, you didn't I mean, know. I'm not going to go hang out with these people on a Sunday fucking right. barbecue. You know what I mean? Or oh, maybe one of them, but not the other one. Uh, <laughs> one of them's my homeboy, and and he got fucked with me. So like, you know what I mean? So, uh, um, I understand. And uh. Man, I miss that dude too. Actually, I haven't seen him in a while. I should probably go stop by. I know where he lives. <laughs> I should go stop by. Hey, what's house. his address, bro? No, I know like right by and his, his full name, social security. This guy is awesome. Phone though. number. This guy's. I, I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to this guy because he was like our director and half of the the person. But like, whenever I became homeless, bro, he took me into his house and shit like that. Like, he was a real. He's That's a real a good nice, guy. nice black man. No, he was a <laughs> white dude. <laughs> I think he's half Jewish, honestly. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's Music industry is ran by Jewish people. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. 
I'm signed to a Jewish, Jewish people never did anything bad to me. That's no. All anyway, but so like I did all this stuff. I toured. I toured the nation. I toured Canada. You know. Yeah. I, how many dates did you do? Like a year. Um, <laughs> I pro- I was probably home like three months. Wow. Here That's in Ignacio. That's a lot, yeah. dude. So like like You're nine on the months road a year. lot. Yeah. All a bunch of small towns that. I well, are big towns too. Well, I was cool enough. Like I'm good enough I to was be. Cool enough. Yeah, you know. Well, I like there a lot. Of, I, I don't want to talk bad about the Native American rap community. No, but just how many. A dates lot of them. A lot of them suck. So like they don't hmm. get these big tours that I got. You know. Right. You know or my boy Defy do, does. Who are you on like, tour with? I, I was on tour with like Yellow Wolf, Obi Trice. You know, like there's some no. really big names. And stuff you know like those guys? That. Um, uh, Baby Bash. I didn't like. I didn't deal with those guys very personally, but like uh-huh. I, I did the same dates as them. Baby Bash, I I hung out with them. A lot of those Chicano rappers, I did a lot of a lot of tours with. Them. Is that what Baby Bash is, Chicano? Yeah. Well, I mean, he was the one that broke. Platinum. I don't. I've never heard of him. The uh, you got me lifted, gifted higher than the ceiling. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh dope. Yeah. That's a dope song. I hate that fucking song. That's a dope song. But I loved it when it came. Well done. I loved it when it came out. Whether you like it on the real, because like uh, seeing a Chicano, like and it it wasn't the greatest thing ever in the world. I'm not the biggest fan of that song, but but as a Chicano, bro, you don't see Chicanos on MTV. So like, unless you're watching uh, Rage Against the Machine, then you see four of them. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you gotta respect. No, there's one white boy. Oh yeah, Tom Morello. Yeah, but he's no Tom Morello's Mexican. I thought he was Italian. I I thought he was Mexican, but the bassist was a white dude. Oh yeah, that's right. The dude that got up. The one that, shaking, yeah, yes. right, 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 yeah, 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 that guy, yeah. Polish. <laughs> dude, I love Rage Against the Machine. If it wasn't oh, for yeah. rap, Zach Della Roca, I wouldn't be a rapper. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's dope. Well, he has this rhyme where he says, uh, "I am the native son born off Zapata's gun." And when I heard that, I was like, "Oh shit, he's Mexican!" Yeah, like, you dude. know what I mean? Yeah. Holy shit! I thought like, Tom Morello was too. Maybe I'm he wrong. He might be. He might be. But I thought I he might was. be wrong. He's one of the, I don't know about the drummer though. He's one of the most unconventional guitarists. That he's made the it work. one of the best that's ever done it. I like agree. he's so innovative on the guitar, dude. I agree. I agree. He's like the, the early prim- on. He's like the primus bassist, but for guitars. Sure. Yeah, yeah that's a good. That's a good pool. analogy. Yeah, because it's a little yeah, weird. A little weird, but like. It's weird, you know, but it's innovative. so but cool. Dude, that like, motherfucker is probably the best best bassist as far. Was as, Claypool for uh, sure? He yeah. was gonna be the Metallica bassist. And he went and tried hey, out for him, and they're like, "You're Rob too Trujillo's weird." A bad motherfucker. So though. he started ten bands. Well, on his own. I mean, hey, I, was, is- I was a huge fan of uh, of uh, uh, what was it? the two bands? He was Lords of Acid and uh, uh, Liz Claypool did- and the Holy Mac. No, not not Liz Claypool. I'm talking uh, about a, a uh, the bassist for Metallica now. Uh, uh, Rob Trujillo. He was uh, that that Mexican punk rock band, Suicidal uh, Tendencies. Okay, yeah, yeah. I- Mexican. Huh? I didn't know that. Yeah, cool. yeah. I yeah. love Suicidal Tendencies. Oh yeah, as a kid, Fuck, dude. Yeah, they're yeah. a Mexican band from. I oh. think they're from L.A. Right on. Yeah, but uh, no, it it's um, he's one of the best bases I've ever seen live. You know what I mean? Right. Like, uh huh. Live, yeah, definitely. You oh. ever seen No Effects live? Oh yeah, I, no, I've seen him yeah. live like a few times. Dude, in Atlanta. I, I'm a huge Those? fan. Of, I'm a huge fan of Rancid. Like that's my favorite fucking band. I, I've seen like, Rancid oh too, God. man. I like Rancid. Dude. Best one of the best live shows you'll dude, see. Dude, I went to like I went to several. Um, what was that? The Warp Warped Tour. Tours. Yeah, I went yeah, to Warp Tour like several years in a row, and then I just went to like No Effects, MXP, yeah, when, a bunch of these punk When I was a sound man, I hung out with the punk rockers. Yeah. Cause that those are the people who accept you without without going to school. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're like, oh, you want to do sound? Fuck it. That's the microphone. This is the guitar. This, you know. So like, that's how I learned. Take how to you do under sound. their wing. Yeah, I didn't go to school for anything that I did. You know? mm-hmm. I'm going to school for my backup plans. Oh. <laughs> there you go, smart kid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hmm. good. Kind of bums no, that's me out. That's a good thing. All Why? or nothing tones. All or nothing. I'm all or nothing with a lot of stuff. I'm just though, kidding, man. dude. I'm, I, I'm With a, your future, don't be all or nothing. But bro, I'm you a, got a kid. I'm a basically. Vir- but I'm a Virgo, bro. Like w- you know, we're 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 known to be like very jack of all trades. That yeah, I feel like I'm a jack Master of all of trades. I just but have you know zero. what I mean. Master I was gonna say, but lot. ain't that phrase? Doesn't that phrase go jack of all trades, master of none? No, but the, not with the Virgos, man. Usually, <sighs> the, the like the 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 astrology says like. Um, the the Virgo is usually the most talented person in the room, or thinks that he's the most talented person in the room. Well, um, this just turned and into a whole and ego the trip true. that I don't want to be part of. That's <laughs> but you're good at what you do. I don't just understand what you like. Why are you so? Why are you so? Why are you so like? 
I don't know, man. He's insecure because he yeah. did a bad set and he bailed on it. Dude, I I'm did a bad still, set too. And I I'm almost, really sad, dude. I've, I'm more sad about bombing in comedy than I've ever had about. I almost drove a bad off music the bridge into the Animus River. <laughs> Not even fucking with you. Like, I thought my about mom it. drove me home, or else. Uh, <laughs> I thought about At it. At least twice. you bombed gracefully. He did. He actually didn't even. Yeah, bomb. when you bombed, he, he didn't bomb though. He had a good set, but he bailed four minutes early. I had no confidence, like. You, yeah, you didn't Something, seem yourself. You didn't seem yourself. That the day. show started forty minutes late. Like I was that ready at seven. I know, but I was. Excuse. Re- I, I agree, sir. It's not. I just haven't done comedy enough to be able to block out the nerves. You know what I mean? Like I, I was everything nervous. took over me. How long have you been doing me. comedy? Uh, well, I started January of last year, so technically almost eighteen months. But with the three month so layoff, so I've seen you do comedy. Yeah. Really. Like, th- I've seen your whole, yeah. like... Well, I started at the ranch probably for three weeks, and then I went to Laugh Therapy. Well, my friend DJed for the ranch, and I used to show up to go watch you guys. Yeah, Justin? L- little, yeah, a little... little uh, <laughs> I used to... A little background there, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> I used to host. No, I know. I ranch. watched you. Man, I miss it. Yeah, hopefully I just it's coming back. I, I don't almost, care if I... I don't want to host anymore. I almost signed up when you hosted. Why one wouldn't time you? because because I walked up to the list and it was hella full. Yeah, and, yeah. And I kind of got dude right before I kind of uh, got the jitters. You know what I mean? Like, that's a good time to go up, bro. When there's a okay. bunch of people, dude. As as a hip hopper, a rapper, a, a rapper. I'll I'll say a rapper or a hype man. Anything. I never got stage fright or nervous or anything like that, dude. When I first it's a lot started, different when there's no music player. Well, whenever I was a DJ, when I like because okay, the first time I ever played in front of somebody was the Snowdown DJ battle. You know I mean? Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't. I didn't go DJ for a crowd or anything. I just feels like I feel like uh, I got sick. I had my appendix burst, so I bought a little turntable system. And, right on. And I, I just sat there in, in my chair and I just learned how to DJ like, <laughs> really good. And, and then I did the DJ battle and I got I placed. I was like, "What the fuck, dude?" That's cool. My <laughs> first like, time performing hip hop, um, I like made all my beats and wrote all my raps, and I. Performing this competition in downtown Atlanta um, at this place off of Vinyl Street. And um, I I placed the first round. I, I basically, I tied with another band. And it was my first time ever performing hip-hop. And, like, I don't know why. I don't know. I was pretty confident. Pretty bad. No, I was fucked up. And then, like, when I got, <laughs> when I started getting off drugs, I, like... I don't know. I thought I looked back at my lyrics because a lot of it was like really like I wouldn't say religious, but spiritual type, uh-huh. like kind of like uh, church right. a little bit like lyrics like that. Like and, I, and and I'll show you guys off <laughs> air, you know, if you want to hear some of it. It's it's not that bad, but it's just the lyrics like when I got sober, I was like kind of embarrassed by those lyrics. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. But um, but I remember <laughs> place uh, tie in for first place in this battle uh with this band and then the the um the fucking MC. tie was broke by the judge who was the mom of one of the people in the other in the band and the uh, other band so and so they straight up you couldn't you know, contest stole that shit well i mean contest? well i mean what can i do honestly i was grateful to be there i was like it was the first time it was uh like with the management company and shit like they hooked me up with that oh, and it wow. was like yeah i was like yeah, it was it was kind of a big deal for me at the time, wow. you know. But That's then, pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, and I did, and I and I, I'd like to say I won, but I technically can't because they voted for the other band but i was hey. like that's kind of fu- a hey. fucked up system though on that on that note <laughs> but it was cool as fuck dude on that note i didn't battle rap for a long time and and uh i came back to durango i i, I move i've moved around a lot uh-huh. and about six years i came back from i think it was new york city honestly or detroit one of them um and uh pa jackson the the ho or the the big promoter in cortez colorado um he got a show in Durango with this girl named Cubala and uh Cuba she's good though. Is she a pool player? I don't think so. <laughs> Cubala. I, I can't remember. I think that's her real name. No. Oh my god. I think it's like Callie Cubala or something like that. I can't remember. Oh my god. But, uh, I feel uh, bad for making fun of it now. Oh no, like she's she would have laughed her ass off too. She's she's very lighthearted. She's awesome. Well, that's cool. But um uh no nah, fucking and they were like, Hey, we're just I'm always the, this is me. 
I, I was short, just one battler. It's been my whole life. Every time I've I've ever done a battle tournament, it's because it's they were because short, one? short one. So that means you've never signed up intentionally. No, not as a battle rapper. So no. that means you must. I have, mean, okay. Is it the nerves? Is that why you don't sign up? Cool. No, it's because I'm there to watch hip hop. Oh, okay. You know, okay. I'm I'm a big fan of hip hop. So you just stepped up when they needed another extra yeah. artist. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm hip hop, man. You you challenge me. That's kind of even more impressive because that means you went there not expecting to perform. Yeah. No. But when the the uh, the uh, chance arose. You Not stepped every, up. Every that's, time, every time that's that, hard to do, man. Every time that I booked a battle, I had a pretty bad time. There was a couple times <laughs> I won. You know what I mean? No, there was one time that's on camera, and I won. It's on YouTube. You can check it out. It's Tones versus the Native G, right? Uh-huh. And it was in Cortez, and uh, this dude was talking mad shit on, on, on the internet, and I kept telling him, like, yo, I'll battle you, but you got to fucking show up. Uh-huh. So you got to show up. So one time I had a, I had a show in Cortez, and again, P.A. Jackson, there he is. It, it, shout out P.A. Jackson. He's the person who really started me as a hip hopper. Like as far as me being serious, uh-huh. like he gave me he gave me the the stage, he gave me the microphone, he gave me uh-huh. everything that I needed. The DJs even, you know what I mean? Wow. Gave me everything that I needed. Um, but anyway, so he comes up to me and he said, "Hey, he showed up," and I was like, "Who? Like, and why are you telling me somebody showed up? That's kind of weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's kind of weird. Like, who showed up? The Native G. I was like, word." <laughs> uh-huh. Beer went down. Yeah. I was like, I was gonna go brush my teeth before I got on the microphone. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I wanted him to smell that shit. I wanted, nah, dude. I wanted, I wanted to be the most insulting motherfucker ever. You know what I mean? Like, cause I did. Like the fact, the way that he was talking to me, I just didn't like. I didn't take it serious. Like dude, the, the dude. whole, the whole, the whole third verse, I just didn't really care to rap. How many bar? Like, uh, yeah. How many verses did you do? Three, three. And so it, it's all is it always three in a battle rap? Well, okay, so battle rap has changed and I've been here through the evolution. Okay. And uh-huh. I've been here. I've been here. Uh I've done freestyle battles over beat. Uh-huh. I've done written a cappella battles. Okay. Not over beat. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, a cappella. In front of a crowd, that's yeah. real hip hop. That's real hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you that talk shit's dope. when I've you talk seen... about the dungeons, like the when you talk about going into New York and you're talking about like the kids on the street battling each other. They're not battling over a beat, man. Right. They're battling uh-huh. each other without a beat, rapping in front of you, like, and they're they're vicious in New York. Uh-huh. Like, if you're in New York and you're in, you're in a cipher, you better have some bars because somebody in that cipher is gonna go after you. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, Somebody's yeah. gonna go after you. You know what I mean? So like, you know, it, it's. I like battle rap now, a lot better. I like I miss the beat. I wish we can do what they do now, but over a beat. You yeah, know what I mean? like I still think that'd be kind of corny too. At the same time, I yeah. don't know. I don't. I just don't know. It's kind of a. It's a weird thing, but I. I like the written structure and and uh, these battle rappers are doing. I shit like the I written structure see. too because yeah. honestly, like one of my favorite quotes ever is from like just an old. I forget who it was. Like an old school, like either black poet or like musician or or, or, or hip hop artist even. But like when he was asked about how does he feel about freestyle rap these days, and he or wait, what the fuck was it? He was talking about freestyle rap, and he said, "Yeah, I can tell they didn't write it down." You yeah. know, like in other words, there's no th- not much thought or effort you know put into right. it. Where Just I, to that, make it go with the beat, and it's got to be and on like, like, there, there are some great fucking rappers that can freestyle all day i've never been able to freestyle well, i've never because even they've tried. written so much that they have hey, so the much real, to pull from. On the sure. real, well I some of them also just have that natural ability i mean well, i can't seriously i like, can't freestyle until there's a crowd in front of me really i just can't you get do pumped it. up pressure no interesting i'm just an mc bro no in a good I, way. I, I just, I just <laughs> well i, feel, I consider I feel like, myself an mc yeah. too but i wrote everything yeah that but I you know i just spit. feel like i feel like i was a huge fan of dougie fresh and slick rick you know oh, what right. I mean? and, and, yeah. uh, and like uh, Mally Mal, all the, the big motherfuckers that, you know, uh-huh. that, you know, and like crisscross even like when I saw them, yeah. when I saw them performing as far as when I listened to their songs, yeah. I, I, I became a fan of crisscross huh. after I saw their live performance. Right on. Like, I wasn't a fan of crisscross until then. Huh? You know yeah. what I mean? Like after I saw that shit, I started showing up to school with my clothes yeah. backwards. man. Sure. Yeah. I was like, nah, this that shit was real. That shit was hip hop, and like yeah. that shit was mad hip hop. But you know uh, when they're performing, they're not doing you know their jump, commercial shit's jump, different jump. than what you see yeah. at a live oh, show. Oh yeah, because DJ know? Nabs yeah. is cutting, and they're over there rhyming, bro. They're Man, like they're, and they're good, and they're, they're they have that you know that mean look. 
when whenever you have nine year olds having that mean look, that something moves through you. Talent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something moves through you. You're no like fucking talent. Yeah, you're just like, man, like yeah, hip hop's crazy. But not like this the battle rap scene, I feel like it's a lot more it's a lot more uh vicious now. People, I mean, internet's out too. Like cruel. Yo, that the, the native G guy, huh. he brought up some of my personal stuff. Like huh. my well, life. that's the way, but that shouldn't be. But off before, limits. before then, people were guessing. Oh, uh, but he you know, knows he you. Knew. Ooh. Did you know him? No. Oh, not at all. So you didn't know how to get. I knew like, you. I knew he was Navajo. You didn't know so how I to talk like, shit about that. You didn't you know, know how how to, I mean? yeah. like, I didn't do that. That's some but tribal you didn't know shit. How to, you oh didn't yeah, know how to because add I'm I'm moves. Ute too. I know. You feel I'm me? Oh, yeah, I, I like, worked with no, so many I, Navajo dudes that were like, "Fuck the Utes." No, I told. I, worked I with told you dudes. That I told like, him. Fuck Navajo. I told him. I was like. I was like. No. I was like. I can leave you crying like I like you had a poke to the eye and leave you leave you. Or I'll end your career and leave you as broke as your tribe. You know what I mean? Because, like, I mean, if you're yeah. comparing tribes, homie, like, no, I, yeah. <laughs> not only that, we kind of gave you that land. If, oh, oh but, but besides that, I love, I love the <laughs> I'm Navajo people. Not even people. getting involved. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love the Navajo people though because a lot of my, a lot of my friends, like Defy, Defy is one of my, one of my good friends in hip hop. He's a Navajo dude. Yeah, he's a really good rapper. Do you know that girl that um, made it? Uh, what was it? Um, on the Voice from Farmington. I don't know her, but I know who she is. Do you my, know our, who our, Nico Montano is? Our homie I know, Josh. I, don't know I think our homie Nico Josh is. knows that girl, whatever her name is. I forget her name. Hey, on that note, though, I know way more about mixed martial arts than uh, I should. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, way what, what, more. What, 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 what's your uh, specialty? Which, which art? Well, if now, yeah, now that I'm older, yeah, jujitsu. Yeah, jujitsu. I'm I'm a uh, avid jujitsu practitioner. Brown and, belt, you said earlier. I mean, you know, I have skills of that. Yes. You know, and, so uh, that's a no. No, I I am uh, great at <laughs> jujitsu. Uh, you know, and how I, you feel about tree nets? Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Never <mind>. tree nets. <laughs> yeah, you should check them out. Treenetwillie dot com. Yeah. He was our last guest. That's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> but no, <laughs> like. Or Saturday. No, yeah. dude, my, my brother's a jiu-jitsu fighter, too. And, That's uh, badass. Like my little brother, too. Have and, you ever been down to Brazil doing it? Oh, fuck in no. In competition? Fuck no. I'd, oh, get, okay. I'd get killed, man. Are you kidding? <laughs> like, to do, to doing regular competitions, like just white belt competitions, uh, uh-huh. or blue belt competitions, it's tough, man. Yeah. Like, I'm sure. Like, these people sure. train every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah, I got real <laughs> weird about it for a minute. I was also in a bad relationship, so I was doing jiu-jitsu or kickboxing five days a week, just like. And if you're if you're if take you're, out your anger, if you're juggling uh-huh. if you're juggling mixed martial arts, like that's so hard on your body, man. It's so hard. Well, like, I lifted you know, weights a lot, like for probably a couple years yeah. before that, so I was pretty. My body was. I felt like I had a good foundation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and then you know, finally it was gr- like, growing up. It. My brother was a boxer, so I was at the boxing gym all the time. Right. Oh, that's you know what awesome. I mean? Did he Eventually. teach you? Did you well, teach you know, you and uh, the my my. His trainers would teach me, and everybody would teach me. And I eventually. Well, if you're just around, but yeah, and it, it's you gonna know, happen. It just it, yeah. it turns into you being a fighter. You know what I mean? For and sure. Like it, it, you know, and especially growing up where I grew up, you can't you can't teach somebody boxing and then expect them to go in a fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like you teach them boxing, they're gonna know how to throw a punch, but they're mm-hmm. not gonna know how to fight. You know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> like, well, I don't know. However, it, however, it nowadays, on how you approach nowadays it. though, if like if you're going to punch me, like. Like expect to get grabbed and like thrown to the ground. Well, and it depends on how you approach yeah. it. Like just that first punch, if you can move out of the well, way and be aware and you know, enough and not freeze and panic, yeah. that's what boxing's good for. Well, and you like, know, it's crazy though because because whenever I yeah. started training jujitsu, I my my time slot like where I could train. It wasn't with like the white belts and the blue belts when yeah. I first started. Like I had to train with like the purple belts and the brown belts. No, that was, <laughs> yeah, not yeah, nice, yeah. Dude. Sometimes <laughs> it beat your nice. ass. Sometimes I, mean, I could only go to the advanced class. Yeah. Well, there was t- there was times where I, I would I would wake yeah. up and I'd be like, "What the fuck happened?" Like <laughs> like, and I trained gi, bro. You Me know, too. I, I trained gi. Like yeah. that's that's the way I I just I like. I want to I want to try no gi because I wrestled. So I feel like I might have a little bit more of an advantage yeah, because advantage. a lot of the times I feel like I'm just locked up by people grabbing my shit. Yeah. And I know that's part of the whole thing yeah. is the gi is control because I use it as well, yeah. especially when I'm with like somebody that's less experienced, but super explosive and yeah. like strong. Like you just got to grab onto that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like well, they you, don't know what to do. You know, like recently, cause I got out, I got out of it for so long. Yeah. You know I mean, especially pursuing this music stuff. Like you get out of so much of your shit. So Dude, I, I've been out of it. I 
started I started recertifying myself when I moved back to California. Nice. So like right now, like certifiedly, I'm a blue certifiedly. belt. Like, as New far word, as certified, yeah. yeah I, it's the only belt I got. <laughs> well, I got a white belt. The blue Webster's belt. Yeah. note that down. Certifiedly. Certifiedly. <laughs> New word. What's up? <laughs> so yeah, I'm still I'm starting back at the beginning, man. I like you know white belt. I just I just passed that. Yeah, really I got hard. through white right belt. Now. In a good, year, though. I think. Yeah. But that's just because I wrestled for fucking six years. You know what I mean? Hey, like, dude, I knew how to get uh, down. When Whenever we were in competition, like, not competition, but training with a lot of wrestlers, they're like, dude, yeah, we're happy being on the bottom. No, it, we're t- happy being it took me a while to learn how to be on the bottom. But once I figured that out, you know, or ish, you know what I mean? Yeah. But once I started getting comfortable with it and throwing up submissions and shit, like, I kind of hey, became if, a problem. If, if you know defense and how to get back up, yeah, and you know how to stand up fight, you'll be okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? You'll be okay. Like they they say with the a black belt, you punch him in the face, he becomes a, a brown belt. You punch him in the face again, he becomes a purple belt. Yeah. You know what I mean? So <laughs> like, hey. I started at Durango Martial Arts. We had four black belts yeah, when Matt, I started. Matt, there. Matt and Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Matt, Chris, Nick, fucking, and there was maybe it was three. I think there was one more though. But um, just there's, savages, there's a lot more dude. Now. And right after I started, I was definitely a white belt. I went to probably like my tenth class, and one of the black belts, Nick, who gave me my blue belt. I I have mad love for that motherfucker. You know, it's a weird bond you build with a fucking professor. And with a dude, with another dude that you're fucking like always close to. Who could kill weird. you at Yo, any let me moment? Hit that pen, son. But yeah. Uh, one yeah, night he was walking back. Just kidding. Yeah, I will. He yeah. was walking back from the gym, and some dude punched him. It smells good. Or head butted him, punched him, or head butted him outside of where the rabbit hole was. Oh, it, uh, Lady Falconberg's. Thank yeah, you. but it was it was the I'll cavern right at the there. time. <coughs> it was the cavern mm. at the time where they were selling drugs and shit. Oh yeah, they got shut down. Yeah, was, but that was right after Lady Falconberg's. <coughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right. But the dude punched him in the face, and as he was falling, he grabbed his wrist and put him in a triangle. <coughs> and, oh, dude. And yeah, he was out. Like, but he broke my professor's glasses and shit. You know what I mean? Like, fucking douchebag. Didn't know who he's fucking with because he's a little hey, dude, but he's yeah. deadly. Dude, if you don't know wow. jujitsu and you're fighting somebody that knows jujitsu, it's, ge- it's it was winter it's geometry class, bro. And it was winter. He was wearing a jacket. You know what I mean? Like he just fucking he got a hold of that motherfucker. Yeah, he's lucky he didn't get him in a loop choke. Yeah, you know what I mean. And fire, or fireman carry him to like sleep. <laughs> yeah, it was a uh, it was a merciful. Uh, defeat yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take a quick bathroom break all right that's cool man um we should take a break and then maybe we come back with some djing some, oh yeah some turn down with that tones we could. I, do we still have stuff, more stuff to talk? We can well we can we dj a little and talk and yeah. yeah let's do it but we can set up the dj shit all right we'll be back we're back and we got a fucking DJ set from our boy Tones. DJ Tones. A little one, yeah. Oh, hold on, village. let me take these headphones off. So I know we're good. I know we're good. Camera's recording. <laughs> DJ Tones. Hey, yo, so like, this is like what I do. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, 
I used to get called Oreo and faggot. I used to get more laughs when I got laughed at. Oh, you got a mixtape? That's fantastic. But everybody thought it was jokes, though. They have right. The joke is I got flow, so don't act like you ain't sitting there with your friends like it can't be. I know Donald Glover, he weak, man. He can't be. I'm still not down, but I up the ante. Me and hip hop, that black Sid and Nancy. Now when they see us in the streets, all they want to do is take pics. And I'm like, okay. okay. Yeah. And when okay. they hear us on the beat. All they want to do is make hits, and I'm like, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, this one right here is for Jacob Jonas in the motherfucking place. You feel me? Shout out to Jacob Jonas. Wait. Who's Jacob Jonas? Good question. I hear he's a piece of shit. I don't know. I've just never heard of him. I don't know. Yeah. How's everybody doing out there? You know pretty, what I mean? Pretty good. Thanks pretty for asking. Pretty loud on the microphone. My bad. Sorry, man. Because you were talking to you guys. Yeah, my bad. It was good, man. Oh, <laughs> 
like to scratch a lot and um i kind of feel like just ending this on scratching even though this is this isn't my favorite setup to scratch on you know what i mean Dope, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, fucking got a DJ Tones exclusive on the Green Light Weekend. Hey, that's the first time that set's ever been recorded. So, like, uh, yeah. Nice. That was sick, Tones. Yeah, we'll put it out. Thank man. You I mean, like, doing I mean, that. I mean Thank it was, it was on Facebook that. Live a couple times, but I take that shit down. You know? Yeah. Dude, no. Well, we're not taking this down. Nope, just this so you know, this forever. is gonna be like an exclusive kind yeah. of. Dude, this is dope, man. Yeah. Thank you for yeah, coming man. along. Good and conversation and good music, dude. Hey, That's dude, what's like, up, bro. This has been awesome. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'd like to come back more. I have a lot more to None. tell. A lot more. To yeah, you guys. <laughs> yeah, this would was you, a you really say, like, easy conversation. Open is invitation. What I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Because uh, yeah. this was such an easy conversation. For real. And fuck, man. It would be dope to have like a regular like DJ set on the podcast. Like. No doubt. You know, it's great for <laughs> like a YouTube clip or something. Dude, at the this very is, least, th- like these three need to go on tour. <laughs> we need to no go on sh- tour. Yeah, dude. Tell like, be a no. great DJ. Two and do a set a after we do sets. Yeah. Go fund me. Two comics, we'll, we'll set it yeah. up and we'll put it right oh, down dude. on the bottom. <laughs> we'll make it happen, Tones. Yeah, we can figure that out. We'll yeah. make it happen, dude. But yeah, that was That was dope, awesome. Tones. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was Thanks sick, for fucking... Man. Let me turn that down. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that dude. was awesome. Let me, put, the, let me put these fucking headphones back on. Right on, Give Give a proper goodbye. Yeah. When I, hey, uh, just just to shout people out, you know, I love shouting people out. Shout out Laugh Therapy. Yeah, dude, yes. no, love Laugh Therapy. Who, it brought us together. Ryan MC's you know yeah. girlfriend's cutting my hair at nine fifteen tomorrow morning. That's so a that's how much I support Ryan MC. I give his girlfriend fat tips. I see him all the time at Steam Works, and it's always a pleasure. I feel like he's this computer, like, and he's a hell of a host. That computer yeah, is that's like way in better. Our, in our way, it's way better. Yeah, dude. But yeah, we, that's true. We wouldn't have met if it wasn't for Lap Therapy because that's where you were DJing when when uh you know when I started. That's where we met Actually, too. Actually, no. When I started, it was Noons still. Remember him? Or do you oh, know no, him? I know Noons. Yeah, yeah. New, me and Noons are good friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was DJing actually, at the actually, time every, when I started. Every DJ you guys have dealt with, or I'm really good friends with. Uh, Even yeah. the, you got you guys have said some really unchoice words for one of my friends. To not, who? Not you guys, but like oh. some some of the DJs not out I. there. Uh, uh, yeah, I never talk bad about a DJ. I Wait, love him. Was it him? Was it him? I don't know, dude. I drink ah. a lot. <laughs> I DJed at. Good excuse. I DJed at the ranch one night because Justin and Dave were gone, 
and I have no bad words to say about any DJ because that shit is not the easiest thing I've ever done. Hey, well, dude, especially with awesome the ranch when when you're in, when you're in a pinch, bro. Just Missy Elliott's greatest hits. You goddamn right. You are absolutely right. My <laughs> wife would give you the biggest high five right now if she was here. I mean, it's kind of kind of real though. It's so true. Oh, and a little bit of Taylor Swift just to no, you keep the white up. girls happy. You don't fuck up. White girls happy. You gotta keep the white girls. Depends happy. on if you're hey, trying to fuck white hey, girls or if, not, if, Dave. If, if you live in Durango, Colorado, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. You can't get away without that. Uh, what without Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift. You, you gotta, gotta have it. Gotta yeah, have I believe it. that, dude. Gotta have it, dude. Fucking. Crazy. Bitches will complain, and you won't teacher. hear it. Yeah, dude, you won't hear the end of it. Who cares? Ah, oh, dude, the one. Can I tell you guys my worst? Before we go, I do. I still have so much to talk about. Like we gotta have this. Uh, like more, we gotta have a, another podcast. No, now. let's do this. We but can like, do it again, bro. Yeah, dude, my the worst fucking request ever. Lil Nas X. Oh yeah, the Old Town Road. Yeah, yeah. All right. Did it happen a lot? <laughs> very frequent very frequent did you ever dj at the wild horse wouldn't <laughs> i've never stepped foot yeah. in the wild well horse. it just Love seems like place. a wild horse request is all i'm saying no nah, dude this is dude, most. everybody in the fucking oh that makes world sense like that song for some reason dude <laughs> i heard i heard it in fucking steamboat springs it's Colorado not the best too. It it's not really the best. bad actually i think but that's just my opinion. how about billy ray coming back hot you know what I'm hey saying? on the real though <laughs> on the real though he's the billy only ray. reason i can listen to the hook R- that's, that's what I'm saying. I, to I don't hate Billy Ray Cyrus. I mean, I do, but uh, <laughs> I do too. I fucking totally do. I just don't know enough oh about him God, to hate dude, him. You guys got I me to fucking talk hate. Shit. Like hate I'm, him. I'm, I'm. Don't worry, guys, he doesn't guys, listen to this. Guys, do you guys like? You guys must understand that I'm a I'm a really professional person when it comes to like radio interviews and stuff. We got you, and son. We've never guys, had this kind of conversation nah, before. Nah, I've never that's had the beauty of a podcast. Like we've talked in bars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you didn't know talking. that all this fucking bef- talking before was just foreplay. Let's fuck. I just think I think that that's just uh, it's pretty cool. Like I mean, whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. <laughs> like I'm a, I'm a battle He's rapper. Not gonna hear this. Guess what? I'm, I'm like, a battle rapper. At me, bro. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, tones, dude. Thank you again. Hey, was... salute! Shout out, my boys. A uh, straight crazy that left therapy. That was fucking sick. Yeah, what do you yeah. got that to promote? You got sick. YouTube pages. You got yeah, Instagram. Yeah, YouTube. You got... uh, Funkle Tones eighty eight. That's also my Instagram. I what know, is it? Believe... Funkel? Yeah, F U N K E L Tones T O N E S. That's at least A-D-A-D-A. easy to remember. Word. Yeah, and it'll be in the description. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we'll put it Easy in the in, Instagram's harder, though. I'll just, just follow those ones. Is that Twitter? I'll Instagram. find your Instagram, and I'll put it in the description. Super easy to find. Follow. Oh, uh, Snapchat's the same thing as the that one. Uncle Tom. Word. I think, anyway. Snapchat. I'll just, oh, I'll that just, one's going to be my biggest I'll, issue. I'll just send you, we'll I'll just send you the, yeah, the, that's perfect. Yeah, the code. Send me your card. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah right on. Um, Dave? Uh, just, you know, um, um, uh, at Davo laughs, sorry, I just smoked Twitter, a few, quite Instagram. a few bowls. At Davo laughs on Twitter and Instagram. Co- follow Comic Uprising on Facebook. Follow us and for. Instagram. Oh, actually, I do have some news. Let's do uh, it. We just changed our festival date. Uh, from because of like all these fires and a lot going on, uh-huh. uh, okay. we are changing our our festival date, the Four Corners Comedy Festival, from August twenty seventh through the 29th. We're going to switch it up to October 1st through 3rd. Well, we we uh, already talked to the uh, ma- the headliner, Mo Alexander. He's he can do those dates and we talked to all the features as well and uh, that looks like we're uh, that looks like we're going to be doing it the 1st through the 3rd of October. <clears throat> just to buy us a couple extra months, you know, and and just or really kind of just one month. Yeah. God damn it, Dave! You just reminded me that there's, but, there's uh, competition in, in dude, comedy. It's not a competition. Uh, it's just sign a festival. Up. It's dude, just a festival. Sign up. Yeah, for real. I'll, but you got to get a video. No, I mean, therapy needs to come back. I'll make sure. You, I have. I have. Vi- I have yeah. video. The, vi- the I have video of me doing it at most. Just uh, Do you? send it. Just send that. Just push Ryan MC to start Laugh Therapy again. Ryan MC. Yeah. Let's actually, do this. Yeah, for real. Because I just, hey, Ryan, I'm, we saw that today that the next three, the next six weeks are canceled. You can't announce you're going to do it twice a week and then Don't cancel do six that, weeks. Ryan, please. Bro. Please do it again. <laughs> I doubt he's listening, but if I love you are. You. 
I'll DJ for you out of boredom. I'm, I'm also going to tell his girlfriend yeah. this tomorrow while she's cutting my hair. <laughs> Will you tell Ryan to bring last to therapy back? <laughs> yeah, just, buy, <laughs> just buy me. Well, you don't got to show him the video yet. But anyway, so yes, dig, uh, get, check out you know Comic Uprising on Facebook and uh, all social media platforms for that. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah. You can find us at JLW underscore podcast on Instagram, Greenlight Weekend on YouTube and Facebook, and greenlightweekend at gmail.com. Thanks, Tones. Also, uh, look out for Dark Ominous Tones, the album. It's going to come out eventually. I just <laughs> Yeah, let us know. You can come back on. We'll promote oh, yeah. it. We'll, we'll fucking post it. it. Yeah. Whatever, man. Yeah, we'll I do know it doesn't right mean it, a it, lot, it but is, we'll fucking try. However, <laughs> however, however, I do have actual news. It is under works. It's not just. It's not just a. a it's not just an idea. It's not just an idea. No, that's you're, what I'm saying. The, it's in the process. When it happens, it's right here on this computer. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Right, cool. When it happens, come back, man. Yeah. Man. And uh, shout out to Dead Room Comedy. Always. Yeah, we love, love you guys. Uh, peace, guys. You guys have, have a good great. night. The dough to get the dough, speaking to the masses. Hit the road to do a show, microphone madness. Trip easy, easy, cheap sunglasses. Straight passion, my third eye active. Watching backpacks, leave the show, beeping that shit. Vocally, hearing me, locally, lyrically. Know what I'm supposed to be, and I don't got no fear of it. I'm coming for your brain, homie, coming at you spiritually. Stepped into the game, and I knew that flow was slippery, but check my flow, though. No. Turn a whack news to history. Let them do their thing instead, I put them out they misery. And simply put, just got this Connected like my boy Big Money, man, this can't be neglected. Grab a mic and check it, coming up in your direction. Gifted, I've been blessed with this hustle, is respected and reckless. Poetic mind on the set, it's got the groove to match. Everybody step with still haven't fulfilled a whole vision yet. <laughs> Life right now, still so picturesque. I'm rocking every stage until I get a bigger check. Even though our hate money ready for a bigger step, for the dream next. Somebody coming at your neck, I could have died today. That's why I'm smoking cigarettes, I got precision. Set of skills and imagination, creations, and no facing with motivation. I'm chasing my goals, the giants that I be racing. I'ma stride through the finish like a 6 5 Jamaican, beating my chest like, yeah, what my name is. Ink on my chest, what? My homie spray paint in summer days, so skate, PlayStation. He looking down on me and I can't stay patient. I ain't just trying to say shit, sit back and face this real time. I've been smoking instrumental playlists, chill in the gut. Now these small places, I ain't getting love now, man. Fuck being famous till they tell me It's really hard to make it They don't understand I love being underestimated Second guess it and I'll take it That you're undereducated Anyway, this got me thinking about them old records playing Why? It's filled with soul and it fills my mind Tell feather shaking while the rhythm takes flight What I'm doing wrong, I ain't gonna fake right I don't get no sleep because the music takes night Nocturnal life with my basement lights Just roll some nice, keep my drink on ice If you don't get it once and you don't hear it twice Moving on on this beat right here is out of sight, I'ma stay away.